Can you guys hear me? Hope you're doing well. It's time. Saw the Dune movie. Hyped up to play some House Vernius. We're going to be doing some heretical technology and uh, having some fun, man. All right. So what we're going to be doing is opening up a lobby. And first come, first serve. Anybody's going to be welcome to join. Uh, just make sure that if you do join, you're going to be able to stay the entire time. So we're going to create a lobby. It will be called Turin uh, MP Lobby. And we will do a skirmish. Okay, looks like all the settings are correct. And let's fire it off. So we're going to be doing House Vernius here and uh, trying to see how to play them, man. I have no idea. I looked at some of the tooltips and whatnot, but I haven't gotten a chance to really play them. So um, we're going to be learning just trial by fire here. Yeah, 100%. All right. And also, the, there was a huge rework to like combat, and you have playable heroes now as well, which is pretty insane. So um, once you get to 10k hedge, I think it is, I'm pretty sure you unlock a hero. So let's take a look at what the faction does overall, shall we? So how's Vernius? Uh, can we just look at the overall house details here? I don't know if we can. We'll see. I'll try to join next game. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right, we got Docs in here. Hell yeah. And we got two spots open. Anybody who wants to join, let me do a ping as well in the Discord to let folks know that we've started. And there it is, because we have a pretty big spice community over there. Spice Lords and uh, Sardaukar, yes. Go time. All right. Cool, man. Let's do it. And uh, we're going to be playing these bad boys. Let's take a look at the characters and see what our options are. So we have two counselors uh, to choose from. And you'll notice that um, at, at all the different houses... Uh, the counselors have been reworked because many of the original counselors were made into actual heroes that you use on the battlefield. So it's completely different now, man. We're going to be just crash course today. Trial by fire. <laughs> Gurney Halleck recites poetry in combat. That's really cool, actually. Yeah. Yeah, we're not going to be allowing Fremen to be played in our lobbies because of the bug skirmishers. So no Fremen today. Unfortunately. The Fremen got enough. You know, they got all the shine in the movie. So we can give some of the other houses a little bit of love there. So it should be fun. This game is really fun. I, I love Dune Spice Wars. I've been playing it pretty consistently for a long time. And um, let's see, what counselors do we want to go? So he gives you one knowledge per district bonus and also lets you build multiple primary buildings in rapid fire and gives you a full refund uh, when you remove buildings from your main base. So for example, if you want to do like a hard switch on technology during the game, he's very flexible in that way. And on top of that, he's going to be giving you knowledge per district bonus, which is pretty rad. Well, I draw thank you for the 20. Let the spice flow into a ton of forestry. <laughs> thank you, man. That meme will never die, and it will happen someday. It's going to be like the coming of the apocalypse. All right. Um, and then we got Bronzo. So villaging neighbor, uh, villages neighboring a single Vernius region cost 20% less authority to annex, and the furthest connected neural node generates an airfield. Okay, I think that sounds pretty good and pretty simplistic, so we're going to do that. And then we have Kamar Pilru. He gives you maximum influence per five knowledge. So, you know, late game what? You're going to get... Is that increases by five per knowledge? So I guess if you're you're going to get 150, because you get up to 30 pretty easily. So you get 150 and immediately gain influence when entering conflict with another faction. Interesting, interesting. And then the last character is information levels required for spying missions are lowered by one. Uh, while no development is in progress, 100% of knowledge is turned into intel. Huh. That's that's kind of cool. Um, I don't know which one we want to go for. The this I think we're going to go for the information levels, so we can do a little bit of spying and espionage easier, and it should be fun. Although he's pretty cool too. Being able to get the knowledge per district bonuses seems good. Yeah, let's actually go for that. All right, go like have fun. Don't worry about. Yeah, it's going to be tricky. It's going to be tricky. Oh, dude, the game got a fat overhaul. Yeah, it really did. It's uh, I, I logged, I got home from uh, the wife and I went to Yosemite uh, for a couple days for her birthday. And I just got back last night and I looked at everything and it's like, uh, like the armories are different. You get heroes in battle now. So I'm going to have to get used to doing that as well. Uh, good luck, have fun. So we got Docs on Atreides, uh, McLovin on the Smugglers and Horny on the Harkonnens. Harkonnens are the ones I feel like I'll pick up quick again, but um, hopefully these guys will have mercy on me. <laughs> It's going to be rough. Yeah. How, oh, man. The Dune movie was so good. It's 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 for sure in my, my top five. It was amazing. I had a full just hype boner the entire time. It's just oh, so good. So good. So I'm going to be reading a lot. Uh, forgive me. This is like I managed to look at their tooltips and we'll look at what their faction traits are as well uh, before the game does start. So we'll get into all of that. Don't worry. I'm one of the, I know some people like to be really methodical and like look at 
everything before they jump in, but I like to just throw myself into the fire and see if I can figure it out. So hopefully you guys don't mind that. No spoilers for Dune 2. Yeah, you should be fine. Yeah, you should be fine. You should be good. But yeah, Vernius is cool. You get um, you get some cool tech stuff from what I've seen. You can get these agents, which are actually analytical computers, which give you double the resources from an area. So you can get like a ton of authority real quick here. So let's pause this and build another ornithopter and build two fighting mechs. So as far as your troop types go, um, one sec here. Hang tight for one minute, lads. Uh, I'll start game. All right, so you have the fighting mech. And you'll notice that pretty much everything in House of Vernius has something that when it's tethered, you see that how it says tethered right there? That means that if you have a neural node running through a territory or one territory adjacent to it, uh, you're going to be able to, you know, get some nice perks from that. So if you're fighting in your home territory and they're like mechanically enhanced, they get, you know, bonus power. Uh, you also have the soldiers here. So these are the only human soldier you have. Um, they inflict 5% more damage based on the amount of nearby kind of swarming mechanical soldiers. Uh, so yeah, you can stack those and potentially do work. And then you have the rail guns. Rail guns get more damage based on the range that they're shooting at. Uh, and when they're tethered, they could attack at long range and they can do some really, really good damage. So yeah, pretty excited, man. Um, you got the resonance drone, which is like a short range drone that has some nice debuffs. And then you have the fight engineer, which is a ranged human fighter actually. And it can set up a, um, it's really cool. It can set up like a healing station. So yeah, we'll get into that. And for House Vernius's main traits, uh, spice fields in neutral and controlled regions can be harvested by tethered uh, drones. So basically you can harvest in your own regions and uh, neutral regions with these drones. And factions and truce get the effects of unresearched development. So if you're a friend with somebody, uh, they're going to get the benefits of the technology of research, which is pretty cool if you want to use that as like a political piece. Like, hey man, uh, I researched military, ally me, you're going to get the military technology and then you can attack my enemy, right? So that's super cool. Uh, and mixed S vaults are split to give district bonuses. So you get more district bonuses basically, but villages that are not connected by the nodal network, they take a minus 50% penalty to their resource production. So if you don't have your like sci-fi node going through your territories, then they're going to suffer. And this is pretty substantial because you can't connect too many. You, you have to have your base kind of be like a giant snake. You can't connect the nodal network if there's multiple nearby regions connected by the nodal network. It's a little bit complicated, but you'll see it as we do go forward there. Um, once you get to 5k, you can file a patent on research developments that no other factions have researched. And then when they research that, they can't get it unless they pay you, which is really funny. And you can also research, um, one development without having researched its requirements. So you can like jump ahead in terms of tech and you don't need to have the requirements for it. So it's pretty fun. Um, lastly, you can obfusc obfuscate a single research development. So what this lets you do is it lets you block a technology. Uh, so nobody can get it. No, it's, it's pretty fun. So if there's like, oh, I don't want them to have siege. So they can't kill bases. You can get that, the siege engineering one. And each knowledge point increases the production of your other resources. So this faction's all about knowledge. Knowledge seems to be the power, but I, again, haven't really played them much. So bear with me, guys. I'm going to be an absolute new Bodia. We're going to get two fighting mechs, which do cost a bit of money. And uh, we're going to party. Good luck. Have fun. All right. So I have a trade agreement from the Harkonnens. <laughs> the Harkonnens just roll up and ask for all my stuff. Oh, I should probably be paying attention here. All right. So let's go down this way and uh, find our first spice field. So yeah, the game is very different. So I'm gonna be a little bit newbie at first, but we'll get there. Intellectual property, yeah, I know. You, you guys thought that that would es escape a sci-fi universe? Not the case. I love how the Baron immediately asked me for everything. So here's our little mechs. Uh, what's really cool about the mechs is they um, they don't have supplies. So you can use them to go into the deep desert and grab stuff, which is pretty rad. They look like little like War of the Worlds aliens here. So they're gonna get in there and fight and we're gonna take this village. And um, you can also set rally points now. I could build a railgun drone if I want to. I could build some of the Suboid soldiers. The drones, they only cost money. So we only need to use manpower for, you know, obviously men, right? Let's get a harvester coming out immediately. And the Baron is asking for 10. And uh, just for the memes, I'm going to accept this and give the Baron 10. <laughs> All right. So let's start with the green tree. So the nodal network can, let's see, each node on the longest path gives you knowledge and authority production. Okay, so that seems pretty good. And we will do this out of the gates. Okay, and you can see the obfuscate and the file patent right there. So those are the those are the goodies. So water in this region is pretty nice. So we're gonna go ahead, but first we need to get the uh, neural node, right? So the neural node builds pretty quickly. And since we're using uh, gold to make most of our armies, we do start off a little bit more poor, right? Oh, knowledge one. Oh, this is tricky though, because though it's in a really good spot, it's I won't be able to connect the neural node. Yeah, mm, kind of a troll thing. Kind of troll. All right, so we have our second uh, flyer there. So we're going to go scout. So you see the neural node is connected now to the main base. 
So now we're not going to be suffering a penalty to production in this region. So let's go ahead and slap the base here with a little bit of plascrete out of the gates. And uh, we have our harvester now. So our, your harvesters are like little spaceships. You fly them over and you can land here. I don't know if they can be eaten by worms. Like I said, I'm learning all this like right now. So I'm just trying to like, you know, explain what's going on while I meet with you guys. So let's review the technology options a little bit. And I should be pillaging too. Um, this region is nice. You usually want to build your base in kind of a, a bit of a straight pattern, right? Our counselors, this guy gives us knowledge per district bonuses in our main base. We have the neural network here. So we could go this way. I think I need to scout a little bit better. So let's take you down here because I want to build it in like a straight line, right? That's how you want to have your base. And aside from that, we should be pillaging territories that we're not going to take. Okay. I think we need to take this one. Fuel cells are one of the most important resources to you as House Vernius. So yeah, and this enemy factions pay authority and unlock the neural core building in the S vault. Local hubs will make buildings a little bit cheaper to build in our villages. We're going to fire that off early so we get that benefit. But yeah, we're going to go this way because we want to follow the fuel cell here. All right, so we got our little mechs. They're floating around. And yeah, they're going to be very nice. Wow, we're really close to the middle. Okay, so next up, let's go ahead and get technological exchange and heretical computing. This is the one I think is really good. You can unlock the analytical machine as your agent. Now, the funny thing about the machine is... If you unlock it, um, the downside is, is that it, um, okay, yeah, we're taking a little bit of damage here from these guys, is it costs you Landsrad standing because in the Dune universe, um, you know, that type of technology is a little bit frowned on. So we're going to get another fighting mech here. So let's do that. Clear this bad boy out and get on the demo drone. Should have attacked the demolisher guy first, but it's okay. We should be able to survive with a little bit of micro here and be okay. But um, yeah, so he's mining now. And to increase our mining efficiency, we actually have to spend fuel cells. So you're seeing why fuel cells are very important, right? Very, very important. All right, so we just micro back. Hopefully I don't lose this guy. It's going to be a little bit of a close fight here, but I think we'll get it at the end. And they are tethered because they're near, um, because I am near one of my regions, right? So we do have the benefit of being tethered here, which is good. Top of that, let's go ahead and slap down. I think we're going to need the water, the H2O, and I think we're going to win this fight. It's going to be a little bit dodgy here, actually. That militia is pretty jacked. And he's not doing that much damage. All right, so we just pull back and let the aggro reset on the other one now. Can we get away? Ugh, come on, finish him. All right, now we switch on to him in the back. Oh my god, this was like a fearsome fight. Some of the people in Discord have been saying Vernius is a little bit weak, so I'm eager to kind of, you know, test that hypothesis. You can see they've reworked the way this looks, by the way, so the missions are all reworked, and you can go and look at, like, what factions are doing by spying on them. So um, we're going to be getting this, and then we're going to go into the heretical computing, which is going to give us access to um, the machine agents. Well, I also only built two. I could have built more units, right? So I, I didn't build that many. Okay, so what are the traits of this region? Um, we have economy and water is Solari. So not terrible. Certainly not terrible. Let's take the free military technology. And now that we have agents, let these guys heal up. And first things first, you want to build a neural node. And every time you build a neural node, I believe it costs three Landsrad standing. Because, like, the Imperium does not like this, like, AI technology you're doing. So you take a bit of a penalty there. So I'm going to be kind of aggressive, I think. And, um, you know... We have another drone now, so it should be a little bit easier. But what's cool is we can just like go grab things because we don't have to worry about supply. Okay, this is actually really good. We have another spice field here, so we can move up there and grab that with our drones. Um, and the neural network's now connected, so it connects to the main base. And because of this agent here, our furthest neural node acts as an airfield. So this is actually an airfield right now, which is pretty rad. So, All right, so we got the fuel cells here. So fuel cells are good. We need them. And we can also get this technology, which is called water batteries. That makes it so when you run out of fuel cells, you can use water instead as a fuel cell, which is pretty great. But the biggest perk of getting the heretical computing is you can get an agent, which gives, it doesn't count for information levels. So as it pertains to leveling up this little bar, it won't do anything, but it does give you double the resources you get from that. Yeah. All right. So let's take our little mech legion and head over here and get this 100%. Um, deep desert over there. And what do we got? The shield wall here. So... If I tried to put uh, a network here, I wouldn't be able to, for example. It would block me because I would have too many neural nodes. So you have to build their bases kind of like a bit of a snake. Oh, we have the crash, the, the space wreck over there. Okay, that's pretty big. We see the Atreides to the south. All right, so the Atreides, um, I could try and be homies with the Atreides. He said he's pretty new to the game, so we could give the Atreides a bit of an alliance, which would be fun. Don't want to lose your mechs. They're pretty expensive. You know, they cost 400 gold out of the gates to build, right? So let's get some heavies. You'll notice I'm building a ton of manpower, right? Because I don't, I'm using machines. I'm basically playing Skynet. Yeah, I'm basically playing Skynet, correct. All right, so yeah, lands route's going to be opening up. I need to start pillaging like really aggressively. And here comes the lands, Chad. Okay, so diplomatic committee, statecraft wouldn't be bad. 
I don't think we go for the Imperial Missionaries. Yeah, Harkonnen Taint is on that, so I don't want that. Um, we could use the Harkonnen Taint to rub it on the Smugglers, although I think... Let's just use our free votes to put this on the... Um, no, not the Harkonnen. Let's see if we can get the Atreides and slow them down politically. Yeah, so the Atreides got the Harkonnen Taint, which he I guess he didn't care about it because he voted on himself for it, so... So once we get to 5k hedge, we're going to be able to do... Um, do we go up to the shield wall here, or do we go for this? Uh, it's hard to say, but our mechs are fighting away. Yeah, I didn't you know, know where I was on the map exactly, but we are kind of expanding our neural node network here. So let's take that, and for you, we can go ahead and grab the leftover spice. And that is the cool thing about the mechs. The fact that they can just wander out into the desert and grab stuff without any issues is really, really nice. So when do we get to file the patent? We get to file patents at uh, 5k hedge. We need to start building money and we need to put patents on the important technologies that everybody's going to be rushing, right? So that's got to be the plan. We also have a lot of Plasteel. I don't know why I have so much Plasteel with these guys, but I have a bunch. Um, we have one Harvester right now. So we don't have Entropic Engineering, so we can't really take advantage of that yet. So let's go ahead and build another Harvester. It's 700. Okay, so that's not going to happen for a minute. We've gotten the free military tech and we've gotten this and let's go ahead and just start pillaging now. Let's take the free spice. Now we go pillage this village right here and we can get rid of this. Okay, so we're going to pay our spice tax. As far as this goes, we get per economy building. So let's get the neural node network going here because that is an eco building. We see the smugglers nearby. I'm really hoping they don't attack me because I don't know what the hell I'm doing with these and he's probably good. So let's get a couple of subvoid soldiers. Um, those are like your human soldiers. Okay. Yeah, McLovin. McLovin is nearby with his dreaded Smuggler Legion. I don't know if he's going to come down. He might, but I think I can fight him off. He might need to pull back here. And are we going to get those heavies? Hopefully we do. Oh, man. Hopefully he doesn't get that before my heavies get finished. Okay. So the heavies are going to finish. They're going to pop out. We're going to run away a little bit. Now the heavies are here. I don't know if I can fight him off here. We're going to try. Let's see if we can. Wow. I didn't attack, expect to get attacked by smugglers already. That's wild. Okay, so our, our War of the Worlds machines are chasing down these bad boys. And let's get another soldier here. We did manage to kill one. So let's pull back. We can't defeat him without... And, oh, he's going to run out of supplies now. Okay. So the heretical machines are done. So now what we can do is we can go into the composite materials and um, entropic engineering, which will let us get our harvesters a little bit stronger. And then we can go from there. Yeah, I'm surprised to be attacked so quickly, man. That's, that's really, really crunk. He did kind of screw with my timing here because I was in the middle of raiding this. Now I have to fight it again. Uh, all right, so we just need a little bit of water. So we're going to get water here. We have a lot of Plasteel, and we have another agent. So let's assign... Oh, this is the analytical machine. So let me show you guys how this works. Hopefully you won't attack me while I'm explaining it. So the analytical machine is awesome because you can put it... It generates 100% more resources. So now we're going to be getting a ton, a ton of extra um, resources there. And you can buy more analytical machines. You just pay for them. So if I want to buy them, they only cost... Uh, they cost Landsrad standing because, you know, the Imperium doesn't like them. But they're, um, yeah, the smuggler's getting a little bit crazy. He might have actually lost those units because of the, uh... All right, so now we have the subvoid humans, and we have a... Dox is asking for something. Uh, non-aggression pact with the Atreides. He said he's newer to the game, so I'm going to take that. Normally I wouldn't, but since he's a little bit newer to the game, I'm going to give him a little bit of McLovin here. All right, so let's get the uh, Chome, and that's going to give us 10. And then I can buy another analytical machine for 200... And then we can put it on Chome, which is going to generate us plus 20 gold. So that's really cool. I, I like how that system works with the analytical machines. You see my Landsrad went down, though, so we got to watch out. All right, so let's keep building out here. Um, obviously, water is going to be good. Did we finish this? We did not yet. It's going to finish in a second. And we need to get another Harvester, but I'm a little bit broke at the moment, so let's go pillaging. And oh, we have to really plan how we extend our base. Down here, probably is safe. The Atreides player seems pretty chill, so I think we go and grab this. It's a rare mineral. Ooh, the space wreck is so good, though. Let's get the space wreck if we can. Let's fly one of our uh, warships over there and go grab that. All right. Taking money, making money with my bots, we are. We're mining crypto, truly, in the in the deep future here. So, all right. So, let's get a Plasteel building. Um, we need to get a maintenance center set up. So, probably right here would be, like, an S-tier maintenance center. So, we'll do that. And then I need to get another harvester. And once we finish the entropic engineering, that's going to let me um, start to gear up. It's going to let me start pimping out our harvesters. And we have to spend the uh, the fuel cells to do that, too. Your truces are like research packs. Yeah, you get two knowledge per research, if I'm not mistaken. So it's pretty pretty good for us. So let's reveal that siege. And I need to start getting knowledge buildings, too. I've been a little bit kind of lax on that, I suppose. 
So let's slap this down here and get you. Knowledge is really good for this faction because once you get to a certain hegemony, nice. Once you get to a certain hegemony, you get your knowledge increases your overall um, income. So we're going to want knowledge buildings in like every territory, basically. All right, so we got the wreck here. Let's actually rush over. I don't want to risk losing this. We'll come back for this later. It's fine. That's going. That's going. And um, we're expanding very greedily. Yeah, armor upgrades are completely reworked. Like, it's a it's a whole different beast now. So um, we need to get survival training to unlock that. I'm going to be switching into military tech soon and being more aggressive because I don't know. The eco for these guys doesn't seem too amazing. It doesn't. But, yeah, you can see we got our little drones. We'll get some rail guns in due time. Let's build another harvester. And um, now we finished that. So let's go ahead and get the water batteries and, like, early military tech because we don't want to get wrecked by a rush, right? Yeah, we don't want to die to a smuggler rush or something, so we're going to do that. Oh, here we go. Let's get that subvoid worker back. You notice that the drones don't have any supplies, which is really nice. So we take this. Yeah, no, if you scientist trade is pretty insane. If you if you manage to get the scientist stuff, you're you're pretty pretty much a cackle monster. All right, so let's get that, and um, now let's go ahead and take this. This is a little bit risky for sure. The smugglers are looking kind of ornery as neighbors, so we're going to grab this and we're going to throw that down. All right. And this should count as an airfield right here since it's our furthest neural node. I don't know exactly how that works, but we're going we're gonna to figure it out. Yeah. All right. So here's the armory upgrades, by the way. You can see you just pick it. It doesn't really cost you anything, which is cool. So you can fine-tune your units, and we'll look over the course of the game and see what we want to get. But firstly, I need to fortify the hell out of this place because this is like one of the most hotly contested regions. We got knowledge buildings coming down. We need to get the neural node here. Um, we need to find a way to get some Landsrad too, man. The Landsrad is not liking our business. They're not liking all the, the weird technology and aliens and, uh, you know, a lot of aliens, but. All right, so let's head back to the base. Um, we have plenty of this. Knowledge, let's just get a maintenance center here. That will reduce, that's like a god tier maintenance center because it's gonna reduce that. And you see the neural network is now online, so it's hitting all of our territories. Uh, probably not gonna expand too much further. I'm already being just way too greedy. Um, ooh, I do not want this to pass. Because I'm already really close to being in the pits, Landsrad wise. <sighs> but man, okay, maybe I just go. Do I have enough? So I have 229. I do have the same as the Harkonnens. I'm gonna try and get infrastructure control. That one's really good. Uh, and let's hope. Let's hope I get it. If the Harkonnens go in on it, I could go negative on Landsrad here. But you know, it is what it is. Yeah, we can build back up. We have an alliance with the uh, with the Atreides. So. Okay. Did we win it? We did. Okay, good. So we got the cheaper building. So we need to take advantage of that and pillage right now. All right, so let's hit this. Perfect. And let's get you. And do we build a missile turret down here? Yeah, it's got some pretty good traits for sure. Um, let's go ahead and get water. Because water can be used in lieu of fuel cells once we get that water batteries technology, which we're researching at the moment. All right. So we got a siege. Where is that siege? Okay, it's a little bit far away. So we don't... Ooh, 10% military health ain't bad though. That is not terrible. All right, so everything's cheaper now. So we definitely want to like build out our territories and let's do a little bit of pillaging. I have no idea what I am doing. I have to use my ignorance with um, with politics here. You know, I have to I have to like kind of weasel that in there. All right, let's so throw this in there. Let's go ahead and get a missile turret up on the north side and um, just keep pillaging. So we'll run here and pillage on the other side. I feel like my economy isn't very strong, but all right, now we can gear these guys out. So let's get you. Uh... <laughs> Uh, first game as X. All right, so we got enemies coming in the north. Dude, these smugglers are just super crunk nasty, aren't they? Oh, so he sabotaged my shit here. All right, I don't know if we can actually take him. Let's see. It's a good thing I'm going into... Yeah, let's get yeah, let's get you and just move up and see if we can fight him off. So I don't know if he's trying to pillage or whatever, but he's still trolling pretty good. Um, Can we take this? I don't know if he can take his army here. He's got some goodies. Oh, no way in hell we're going to be able to take that army. I'm getting folded up. Man, my army sucks. Holy shit, they're terrible. How is my army getting wrecked so badly? All right, so is he just going to pillage that? Hopefully, it's just a pillage. Okay, he's just pillaging. Thank God. So I'm going to have time to reinforce. Like, how do I fight that with these guys? Do I need railgun drones? Probably railgun drones, but there's so much money, too. Uh, let's just get these subvoid workers for now and just use the manpower, I guess. They're bullying me, dude. They're bullying me. They know I'm a noob at this faction. So he's going to destroy quite a bit there. I can't, like, force him into a pact or anything. How the hell do I deal with this, dude? I'm, I'm going into red trees. So I'm, I'm going to have military here. Uh, we need to get some manpower, I guess. Probably a little bit more manpower. Yeah. All right. So we'll do that. He's going to pillage. Hopefully he'll just leave afterwards. And uh, cool. So he left and, you know, I can rebuild most of my stuff. He is going to destroy most of the buildings, which feels bad. But, you know, what can you do, man? What can you do? 
going to get bullied. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, let's get a missile turret here. Definitely just need to get a missile turret back. Uh, he's killing the harvester. Can I deploy that thing? Oh, look, I can get away with it. <laughs> look, these things can fly. Oh, man, okay. So I can't escape. Holy shit, how the hell do I fight these armies? My army just got like killed in like two seconds. I guess you have to like Zerg, right? All right, so let's get a missile turret here like we originally planned. That's going to be fine. We'll get some of the suboids. And, oh, we, that's right. We need to get the, um, let's get you to heal at the main base. And then we'll go back to the spice fields here. He's got a pretty formidable army. Yeah, he's, he's going very early in red tree. But, you know, I didn't delay red tree too much myself. So I should be able to build some main base stuff soon. So we're going to get that and get the manpower and all that. And then we got a missile turret. Uh, we definitely need to start stacking manpower. Oh, God. Okay. Can we actually fly out here? Good. We can fly out here with this suboid soldier. He should be able to win it. This is, this is a, a lot going on. And I'm in negative lands rad standing right now, too. So that's also tough. <laughs> Your manpower dudes have an army upgrade for free upkeep, only 20 MP. Okay, sounds good. So let's do that. And uh, no Solari upkeep. Okay, so we just, like, what? Spam a bunch of the Subloid soldiers? Oh, my God. He's going to lose this fight. Oh, God. Oh, God. All right, so let's get a fighting mech down there. Where is he at? We If we lose that region, we're just, like, basically in the pits of hell at that point. And the Subloid Soldier is going to take a little while to get there. We have some time before this finishes. Okay, let's get the fighting mech coming out. And, um, all right. Yeah, I think we just need to find a way to get some more manpower. I wonder if this fighting mech could win this fight. Maybe he could. We're going to test the waters here. You can rally to your airport. Oh, you can. That's right. Okay, cool. Oh, so the rally works like that. That's really cool. Let's tank our Landsrad standing even further, shall we? All right, so we're going to try and shut down the demo unit because I think that's what was dunking on us here, although the mech is not going to do that much damage. Um, he looks like he's straight up losing that fight. Let's see if we can at least kill this guy. And then, yeah, the subvoids are on their way out. Let's get you assigned to the spacing guild for a little bit of manpower. I should just might as well buy more heretical machines, dude. Can we kill it? Please kill one. Uh, okay, we got the money. And... um. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna try and oh look at that so the units do rally in okay that's pretty cool yeah so let's get you back are we not able to tie that guy down in melee anymore interesting so we have a lot of manpower um and let's go into the probably the research center is going to be really good and let's go ahead and get manpower though we, we're going to need it to spam the cheap units and then maybe the fuel cell building as well I'm dying to the AI dudes it's, it's looking bleak <laughs> Let's get a heavy. Let's get this. Maybe I can fend off another raid. All right. Cool. And, um, yeah, let's actually get rid of this. Maybe a railgun drone would be better so I can, like, poke from downtown. I have no idea how their units work. Um, I will go back up soon because of the Atreides friendship. Uh, we got a missile turret here. And now we're going to go get the military thing. We, we do have 5K now. So can I file a patent yet? Okay, I need 1K to file a patent, so they have to pay me for that. Okay, so that's still a ways off, I would imagine. Am I just going to be forced to build these mechs? Uh, I don't feel like, yeah, holistic thinking, one knowledge for information field with, yeah, let's get holistic thinking. That'll give me more knowledge too. And we need to expand out. So maybe we expand back towards that spice field and just try and do that if we can. All right, so we got this. It's recently pillaged, so our knowledge kind of sucks. The manpower building is going to come in soon. And let's hit this building here. You want mechs and rails supported by one residence and a couple engineers, trust me. Sounds good. Yeah, it's my first time playing them, so we're gonna we're gonna learn. I'll play them twice today, so we'll we'll figure it we'll figure it out eventually. So we got the missile turret here. We probably need to get a little something something here. I really like that I can rally units there. I think that's a really cool um, cool thing. And I can also build another building at the same time because of my counselor. So we'll take this, all right, and then. I could build the fuel cell mechanical unit recruit time is probably really good for us. So I'm going to go ahead and get the fusion plant. And then I could even get this if I can get a little bit more money too. Because I have the... Oh, no. I got it just in time. All right. So military developments. Uh, I'm going to try and just weasel the lands rad for myself. Because why not, you know? That will buy us a little bit of time. I'm back in the positive in terms of lands rad. And the special building would have been nice to get while I had the reduction, but at least we got two main base regions. So the mechanical units will finish in time. You played a lot of Vernius? I have never played them. This is my first time. So forgive me if I'm a noob, but eventually I'll, I'll master them. It's, it's, it's only a matter of time. Let's get another demo right there. 
and we got a missile turret. So hopefully the smugglers will chill out a little bit. We're going to grab this freebie and also... Oh, can I go over the deep desert? Did I get that? I know there's a technology that holistic thinking will give us plus one knowledge uh, with analytical machine area. So wherever we have those guys working. So we're going to get plus two knowledge at the moment, which is pretty good. All right. So let's go ahead and get you. Let's do this. And we can go and just kind of keep grinding. We're going to need more units here. The subways at 20 and those two buildings will hopefully finish. Let's grab this. It's a free eco technology and let's go ahead and pillage that. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to put a patent on anything. Did you guys really spice market this noob here? <laughs> they, I'm, I'm calling them out. I'm like, did you guys hit me with the spice tax? I don't even know what I'm doing. Come on now. All right, let's get one more heavy there. And can I get the automated defenses? That would maybe wouldn't be bad. All right, so we got the rail gun. Where's the railgun? Oh, it's rallied over there now. Okay. And let's uh, go here. We need the spaceship part building. That's going to be very nice. So now we're getting the... Um... Oh, God. Are the Harkonnens coming? Please don't attack me, dude. <laughs> I'm so freaking pitiful, this game. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing with these guys. Oh, man. Okay. The railgun rallied to the wrong spot, unfortunately. So I guess we'll just get more fighting. The mechs are expensive, though, dude. They're very expensive. I feel like I need just these haggard fighter guys. And I guess we'll get another rail rail gun drone right there too. And smugglers are coming back to butter my bread. And uh, I don't know, they, they are not very friendly. I'm not gonna lie. All right, can I survive this? No, not quite. Okay, so we're pulling back and we're gonna pillage that. Yeah, I may have like expanding towards all these guys might have been an issue for sure. Cause I'm kind of giving the smugglers a bit of a buffering. Uh, all right, so the knowledge isn't going super great, but we are going to finish two regions in our main base, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and grab that. Okay, head up this way. And um, now for you, we can just get a little bit of water here. Might as well. And gather up the troops. So rally point should be... We could rally point right there. Okay, so that's going to let them drop down that way. So, yeah, holistic thinking will give us more knowledge. And I, I don't really know what else I could do. That would be really good. Um, automated defenses. I think we can research that. I'm going to get this one. And I want to be able to get a patent, but sadly I just have no money. So I'm like struggling on the patent thing. Now um, we could cut this big expensive drone and try and file a patent here. So I think that's what we want to do. And how can I get across here? We pillage this. Let's go pillage this one again. Try and get a little bit of money. Yeah. You need to keep pillaging early game. Makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. I was kind of busy reading the tooltip, so forgive me. And uh, let's get a knowledge building here. And let's jump over here and grab this. Could also expand up this way. That's actually not a bad idea. We do have fuel cells that way. So maybe maybe we just cancel this region. Or don't connect the node network to it and just, you know, move up that way. I was pillaging happily and then the smuggler nation arrived. So that was that was rough. But I do have I'm I'm speed teching the automated defenses. So that one gives you extra free militia at your bases that are connected to the node network. So I'm kind of like hoping that will do something. All right, so we're gonna try and get a patent on something so I can learn how that mechanic works. Let's get another heavy down here. Oh, uh, no problem, dude. Do you. He's he's saying, he, he, I, I don't think that's like him being kind out of the kindness of his heart. I think there are some schemes. Um, all right. Okay, let's pull this back. Let's go here. And um, do we want to get the spacing, the research station here? We could actually get it down here. Um, we don't have a maintenance center over here. This actually seems like a better way to expand. Yeah, I'm just going to go. Oh, we actually have the worm nest back there. So we're going to go get that. We're going to do that. Okay. Yeah, I do YouTube full time. I, I didn't. It wasn't always that way. But yeah, now I do. So it's pretty fun, man. It's pretty fun. Um, maintenance center here would probably be good. This faction's definitely complicated. It's not as easy as like the mouth breathing Harkonnens where you're just like unga bunga, chum unga bunga. Yeah, I think I can get more uh, harvesters in neutral fields. Yeah, so we're gonna go, we're gonna go, oh, I was looking, wasn't, man, those guys die really quick. They're super squishy, the subvoid soldiers. So probably just switching into mostly mechs. And that's right, I have the free armory, so I should be taking a tech with them, right? Yeah, all right. So a lot of changes to the game. Uh, on the south side, it looks like we're comfortable. And um, we'll definitely take this region and expand our nodal network up this way. And then we probably need to delete this one, I believe. 
Okay, main base, we can build another building here. So let's go for the knowledge and hedge gains. Although I kind of want to build my spaceship stuff because I think that will help me get back in the game a little bit. All right, so those guys are all pimped out. Our knowledge is coming together slowly but surely. Uh, let's get a couple more militia in here. And do I have enough for a patent? You know, let's try the patent thing, right? Maybe we can delay that. So file patent. So where can I file a patent? It can only be used on... Um, can only be used on a researched development. So it has to be on something that I've researched. Oh, okay, I get that. All right, so we have what? Plascrete into money here. That's actually a really good trait. So let's do that and then we can get a heavy and we can go get these fuel cells next. And um, fighting mechs, yeah, we, we're gonna need some more fighting mechs. Take the freebies there. And uh, that's right, I won't be able to connect a node network here with that one being in place. Yeah, the automated defenses, I, re I turbo researched this, so I wouldn't, um, oh my god, I keep looking at tooltips and I'm going to lose a bunch of units. I feel like just spamming the mechs is probably the way. It's getting a bunch of the fighting mechs, but I want to file some patents and stuff, so yeah, we're going to see what's good there. Um, okay, let's not lose any units for now. The railgun is shooting, is it? Yeah, it should be shooting. All right, technologies, energy efficiency, 30% more fuel cells seems fine. Don't know what I'm doing, but it's all good. So we sped and got automated defenses. So now any of my bases that are connected to the node network should be getting like these like automaton militia that pop out. So I was doing that because the smugglers are being aggressive, but I don't know if they're going to be aggressive anymore. So we'll see what happens. I do need to get that spaceship area though. So we have a lot of uh, chum here. Okay, I want the diplomatic congress for myself, but yeah, look at that. So now I have the automated militia. Isn't that cool? That's really rad. And let's go ahead and get the, re not research, ooh, it's the Space and Guild Branch though. I have to get Space and Guild Branch considering I have the, the, the ship part area. All right, we're gonna try and get this. Uh, do we get the pillaging one maybe? Uh, yeah, let's try and get this for myself to prevent me from being beaten down because I need to buy time. Mechs are stronger inside the neural network too. That's true, yeah, they are. All right, so that should be finishing. And do I want anything at Landsrad? I don't, I don't want anything. Should have just saved my votes, but you never know what people are gonna vote on, right? Come on, railgun boys. And um, we got subvoid soldiers if we need and um, liberate that. Oh, did the smugglers put a bounty on something and I missed it? I think they might've, damn, I might've missed something important there. See, so I can't build the neural node because of this base. So I need to delete it here and then just go up this way. Yeah, and we need to build it up here too. So that's gonna be more fuel cells and we can keep expanding happily. I really need to get the patent system online though, but it's just having such a hard time with my economy and everything, guys. I'm in a real, real hard time with that one. All right, let's grab some manpower here. Help us build a crappy little army here. The Spice Lab is the best main base building. Is that a new one? Chum Branch. Spice Laboratory is what you're saying. Okay, you're saying that's the best uh, new building. Got it. All right, so we build that. So our node network is increasing. What does that do? Spice Laboratory plus two knowledge per exploited spice field. Oh, that's kind of nice. And um, we would like to get, there's like, I need money. I find that this faction seems pretty, pretty intensive financially, but I just, uh, I don't got the tools for it right now. We'll go on Landsrad just to get a little bit of that. Yeah, I think I have an idea though. Like when we play them next game, I feel, I'll feel more confident. Okay, we can get a fight engineer. Let's get a couple subvoid soldiers. We just need to start clearing again, man. We need to start clearing. And uh, that looks fine. We have the automaton militia, so hopefully they'll be able to hold things down. And uh, we have this, so we can send the mechs out to the deep desert, no problem. So let's go grab these freebies around while we can. And fuel cells, and then we need to get a maintenance center here too. So let's get this and slap down a maintenance center. And then we're gonna go send a harvester up to the spice field here to see if we can work that also. Yeah, I do like that, how the mechs can kind of roll around and grab stuff. That's pretty fun. The one thing I might have going for me is that I'm like, maybe gonna be a little under the radar here. You know, the fact that I'm sucking and don't know what I'm doing with these guys, maybe people won't perceive me as a threat and maybe we can weasel our way in at the end. The March of the Machines will finally happen, hopefully. All right, so grabbing those free technologies, the subvoid soldiers are on the way out. We should be able to start spamming them now. And I needed to get, yeah, the free tech here. So speed cannot be reduced, ignores half the mechanical units and buildings. Allied drones get a little power buff, which is nice. And now we finished energy efficiency and parts production is probably really good. That's going to give your mechs like a ton of um, power. And then we have a fight engineer too. 
All right, so we're the fight engineers are like range units, and they they um they obviously buff up your units, right? So let's get that spice field here. It's only one fifty. I actually have a lot of hedge at the moment. So renegades have arrived. Okay. So we got that too. Let's get that free plasteel. At least our bases are reasonably developed, and we are getting ship parts at the moment. Um, do we want to donate any influence? I don't have any influence to develop donate really. So. Oh, that's right. Okay, so can we shuttle? Okay, that's our free airfield here. So we're going to have to run this way. And let's get another Subvoid Soldier. I need to be, like, pillaging. Um, so we can go pillage. Ooh, the Great Volcano. Man, we have some really good regions up there, actually. Let's go pillaging, though, in the meantime. We can send a Harvester up top, too. Yeah, Fight Engineers are like medics for your drones, as far as I understand. All right, so the ship parts are coming in, which is great. Uh, and we can earn the trust of this local Fremen. I, I doubt he would trust these machines, but, you know, it is what it is. We're pretty defensible now. I feel like it would be hard to push us. Um, I'm hoping. You know, you never know. Let's get these Subvoid Soldiers and uh, start pillaging. Yeah, because our economy blows, man. It blows bad. I, I wanted to get military tech, though, so I could... Um, man, and filing, not being able to file patents, I feel like I'm missing out on like an entire tech. All right, so... Yeah, we'll try and file some patents here in due time. We got our rail gun, which shoots from pretty far. It's like a long-range sniper, which is cool. Probably having a doom stack of those with like a tanky front line is pretty good. Would be my guess. Psh, almost got this guy killed again. All right, so let's pillage that. You don't want to jump ahead too hard. What do we get at 10k hedge? So at 10k hedge, we get obfuscate, a single tech, and each knowledge increases my production. So at 10k, maybe the knowledge thing will be a little bit better. Could abandon this village. Let's, uh, yeah, mm. That village kind of, you know, it's it's kind of dead to us here. It doesn't really do much for us. Um, I mean, because I get 50% less production in it, and it just puts me up on hedge when I don't need to be, so I'm actually going to abandon this one. So that'll give me something to um, pillage there. Understood. All right, so we got our army here. Sure, my lord. This game's so fun, dude. I love I love Spice Wars. It's, it's uh, an amazing game. There's a lot of depth and strategy, and, you know, the rally point system is pretty cool. Now that you have a rally point... That seems like it could be really good. So manpower has one building of each type and for statecraft building. So let's get that. And here uh, we have just so much plasteel. Okay, he might be attacking us. I feel like I'm, I've am i grown a lot stronger since last the attack. So maybe we'll be okay. Uh, let's get a knowledge building here. And do we have heavies? Oh, we do have the two automated militia, but that might not be enough. I don't know how strong they are. So check this out. We have the automated militia. Let's see what they look like when they pop out. Ooh, they're not very strong. So we probably need to go up there and deal with that, sadly. All right, so let's run up here. And the automated militia, yeah, they're all right. They're just bodies. They don't seem to be doing too much. So it's going to take these AI a while to capture this. So what we'll do is we'll just pillage this on the way up, and we should be fine. Yeah, I didn't have a chance to get militia in there yet, so. All right, boys. Let's pound these bad boys down. And, uh, yep, we got our haggard subvoid army. And for the free technologies here, let's do the two armor. So they get two armor, and then we can give them one armor while tethered. So they're just going to have a ton of armor, basically, is going to be the game plan. And we need to go salvage that base before it goes down, obviously. So now we can build... Uh, we have our fight engineers. Let's get one more of those, and let's try out another railgun drone. All right, team. Let's go make sure we don't lose this base. A lot of fuel cells at the moment, and just a ton of plascrete. So that it was going to be an airfield for us down here. And it is touching tips with the Harkonnen, so let's get a listening post there so we can like get some free knowledge and whatnot. Yeah, the mechs, uh, the mechs are pretty cool. They, um, they're going to be really tanky. And then we should have more fight engineers coming out. So Rally Point can be right by the main base. All right, so do we want to just go down here? I don't have enough to file a patent yet. But let's go down and get the Chome integration stuff, I think, is fine. Okay, uh, I can't really win anything here, so I'm just going to save my votes. I'll put my 100 votes on um, denying labor rights because I don't want that. I don't want any of that. Yeah, subvoids do get a buff and a swarm. They do. Uh, they get up to up to. I don't know what it is off the top of my head, but we're opposing labor rights because I don't want to. I don't want to suffer that. They get five percent damage per nearby subvoid soldier. So having five of them will optimize them basically. Okay, so you'll see we can heal too, which is cool. So we're gonna deploy this here. I'm gonna show you guys what this looks like. Come on, lands red. So we deploy the repair station. Oh, but there's no damage drones. But now we deploy it. And the drones are going to start healing, see? So you deploy a... Oh, shit. Okay. You deploy an AIE there, which is pretty cool. Man, these subvoid soldiers die, like, so quick. 
It's fine. I'll let him die because I want to replace my army with uh, more better troops anyways. I want to get a mech legion going. Um, yeah, we're hanging in there. Trady's on the south. We can get another listening post here if we want to. And what was cool about that is we got to see the quality of the... Um, of the uh, What's it called? Cool. So you guys can go up here. Probably want to get an airfield maybe, but that region's kind of you know off the beaten path. Let's get some heavies there so we don't have to go back that way. But the automated militia are kind of cool. I dig that. Yeah, so we're going to get the Chome integration and get the building in the main base. Um, definitely need that. Man, there's so much I need to do. Zero armor and 200 HP. Why do I have a Fremen? Uh, it's a mercenary. Yeah, he was just hanging out nearby. He's like, hey, what up, dudes? Like, you want to you wanna party? I'm like, yeah, let's go. So let's grab this. And um, we have a lot of Plasteel. We can definitely develop these bases. We can get a, a spice silo up here, maybe. I don't know. Water is probably better. Because water is used as fuel cells for you, so... Yeah, these mechs are tanky as hell, though. These things have nine armor, the fighting mechs. So they should be able to hold it down pretty well. The reason why the smugglers probably stopped attacking me here is because they have a trafficking station. Yeah, see, so they're stealing spice from me right now. Um, is my guess. Yeah. All right, so I need to go pillage, make money somehow. I mean, I'm selling. I got two spice fields going. Shy Halut's nearby, but we should be safe since we're... What? What the hell is that? Wait, the worm can eat you on the base? Are you serious? What the hell is that? Oh my god, I just got shy looted on that. Do I have to like be right on the... Con Usually you are fine if you're on a base. Wow, I just got wrecked. Holy shit, that sucks. Now I gotta pay 400 to replace these stupid mechs that I had. That's really unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. We're just gonna have to switch into the haggard subvoid soldiers, boys. Alright, let's get a tether here. Get some of these going. That was really, really unfortunate. Hopefully my fight mech doesn't get eaten either. I've never seen that. I've never been shy halluted in quite that way. Uh, Alright, so ship parts are up to 58. I don't know what their mothership does. We'll have to figure that out. And, um, yep, we're hustling down here. We're going to get a hero at 10k, right, is it? I don't know when you get your hero, but somewhere somewhere around this point. Wow, I just got shy halluted. I didn't know they could eat you in the friggin' base like that. I just got munched on, bro. Okay, so smugglers are going to just traffic all my, my areas, which is unfortunate, but... I'm kind of a bit of a potato. I can't really do anything about it. I just have to suffer everyone's whims. <laughs> All right, so let's go raid the middle. Um, we do have the airfield. Yeah, I mean, our base is nicely developed. My authority is really good because of the machines, because of the analytical machines. Those things are pretty good. But spice enlightenment. Yeah, this will give us, can spend up to four fuel cells to increase production. And each knowledge increases their production too. So that's pretty good. All right, so do we want to buy spice? I don't think so. There's a free ornithopter there. Yes, my lord. Hey, Atreides, what are you doing? I don't, I don't like what I'm seeing here. Uh, all right, so the Atreides, oh, they just, they just are going aggro on me. Oh god. So here they come. But he's coming really close to my main base, which makes me think we might be able to hold. Yeah, so let's get back, and he's coming for the village. Wow, this is really ballsy. Holy shit. They're coming for blood this game. And for the fight engineers, let's go ahead and deploy. There's no damage drones in range. So we got the railgun shooting away. The main base is hurting them. Yeah, they, they, that was a really ballsy one. That was very ballsy. Okay, so now he's running and we were able to route him off. So finally, oh, no, 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 bad shy halud. Go eat the Atreides. Yes, they will die in the dark. Okay, he actually lost a couple to supply there too. So that was good. Oh, but like all these little attacks I've been getting are definitely slowing down my progression uh, to say the least. All right, so we can get water up here. Water is power. And um, here, looking pretty well developed, too. And we can get the village traits here. So intel per statecraft building. And we can just get a spice silo there. That'll buff the spice of the nearby field. All right, so the Atreides have been held back. And uh, you're back in business here. We're going to get the tech, which will allow us to augment our harvester soon. I could take middle, but that's just going to make me, like, enemy number one. I don't really know how to salvage the economy yet of these guys, but obviously I'm going into eco now, so hopefully that will help. Um, obfuscate. Okay, so what do I want to do? Um, this would be... Yeah, that, that would be something. We could do the chome support. I don't even know which one is really good for us to obfuscate here. Yeah, you, like this. Uh, these guys seem like the more meta knowledge you have, the better they're going to be, for sure. All right. So, how are we looking up here? Yep, that's coming together. We can get an airfield here too, which should be fine. We have our Haggard drones. We have an army now. Ooh, we got a Bene Gesserit. That's very lucky. 
So let's go on the um, let's go on the freaking chome and see if I can get max out on chome. Yeah, the Benny Gesserit agents are really good. Yes, I need to do the free upgrades too. That's right. Oh, it's so different. Gain five power depending on the long distance. Uh, that's kind of cool actually. Yeah. Oh, I should have read the other ones. I just got excited there. All right, and um, yeah, so gain power depending on the distance, and then um, plus two power while tethered. Yeah, sounds good. So they're just gonna hit really hard. Horny CSET wants to trade with me. The Harkonnens want want a trade agreement. Yes, I'm desperate. I'm gonna take whatever scraps I can get. <laughs> Let's take a non-aggression with the Baron too, if we can. Oh, looks like we already have one. Great. Okay. All right, so let's go pillage this. And uh, let's get another Spice Harvester up in the north. Take the free military tech here. Let's get an airfield, because you never know what's going to happen up here. Keep pillaging. It's the only way we can seemingly, seemingly make money here. The Atreides took a very ballsy charge against me there. That was very aggressive. All right, let's pillage that. Get a little bit of dough from this. We got the Haggard Subvoid Soldiers. And uh, what other free units have we not upgraded yet? Okay, so gain three armor while the repair station. Experience whatever game. Yeah, well, let's wait and see if people go big air forces. All right, so we got the Harvester drone. So he's going to go harvest this field now. The tech is coming along nicely. Uh, that's right, we need to get knowledge buildings up here. We have knowledge, we have knowledge. We do not have knowledge here yet. Okay. I suppose like the upkeep for all those special buildings is what's doing it. This is a PvP game. I'm with other players. Um, all right. So smugglers are looking pretty chad. So are the Harkonnens. Horny's a very good player from our Discord. And it seems like McLovin knows what he's doing too. So uh, gear regs. I mean, can I even win anything? I'm going to just desperation go for this right now. Maybe they'll save their money for other things and I get lucky and win this. I don't know. Oh, is this the smuggler? Oh, no, the smugglers. Oh, I didn't see that. I'm not used to where the tooltip is. So I should have voted on this. Damn it. That would have been so much money. Oh, I screwed up. Okay. Well, is there any way to undo my votes? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Yeah, so they changed where all the tooltips are. I'm used to looking up here. So I didn't see anything where it was. And now the smugglers end up winning that. So I just wasted all my votes. Lovely. Okay. okay, let's head this way. The top is going to be ours. We have our little harvester here. So let's uh, spend fuel cells to sauce these up. Fuel cells and fuel cells. So we should have all that. And chump support, don't really care about that too much. Geothermal condensers is pretty good, though. We're going to want to get that. And now we're in the green financially, which is good. So, hey, at least we got that going for us. Rip, I know. A little rusty, boys. A little rusty. Don't really need a listening post here. Definitely go for the Great Volcano next. Um, we're at 10K. I don't know when you get the heroes. I'm not sure when that happens, but we are going to be able to put a patent down on something now too and make some money off that. I wanted to get it done at least once. Is Ordos in the game? I don't believe so. I don't think they are. No. They Probably at some point they'll get added. Uh, okay, I got to file a patent while, I, while I'm here. All right, so let's fly up here. Let's go to the technology. Let's file a patent, and I can patent anything that I've already done. Another faction has already reached that development. Okay, so it has to be a development that nobody's reached. Um, and we can do, yeah, somebody already got that. Okay, what about, yeah, and I have to have researched it. Okay, nothing's worth patenting right now, I don't think. So we can go ahead and get the knowledge, um, the knowledge here, although I feel like I need to get the, yeah, Spice Lab seems pretty good. That's really good, actually. And then we might be able to even get another one here because I have a ton of Plascrete. And what's cool about this faction is you can, like, power build. Uh, where can we raid? There's not too many areas to raid here, to be fair. Okay, let's go up here and grab this. So we're going to fly to the north. And, um, oh, the Atreides are coming again, really? Okay. I love that my harvesters can just, like, peace out super quick. That's really funny. Uh, we're going to have the folder relay. Oh, so that tethers units nearby. That's really cool. Okay, so he's going back. So we just go back down and harvest again. Let's go grab this. And uh, it costs money to repair the drones, that's right. So it seems like that's why you would want to use the fight engineers. Is he gonna come back and troll me? How dare you, dude. How dare you? Let's get a bunch of subvoid soldiers just so we have a full stack of like chaff. And um, we're gonna we're gonna try here. So we are gonna be up on hedge. Smugglers are just pilfering my money, which is great, you know, gotta love it. If he's gonna fly there and raid me again, we can just Wait for him to get close, so we waste a little bit of supply at least, and then and then we can go back down there. Let's take this, get our relay uh, relays going, and we just need to leave one of you guys. Okay. I wonder how the fight's going to go with the Atreides army. I don't know. My mothership's pretty close, though, so we're going to have that pretty soon here. 
And um, enemy uh, launch an operation probe setup. Okay. Oh, that's right. I need to be like, I need to be on like counter intel and stuff. I could be getting assassinated here straight up. All right. So all of our harvesters are more or less optimized. We're getting advanced engineering here. You can recruit a hero unit from recruitment. I thought it just pops up and gives you a prompt. Oh, okay, okay. So the heroes are here now. Sorry, it's my first time using them. So I, I've never used the heroes before. And let's get this, get the relay going back here. Pull you guys in and have you guys fly down here. Main base building. We can get another one soon. We just need a little bit more money. Should be able to do it. So let's hustle down there, get a couple of these. Great. And let's recruit a hero. All right, so heroes. So she is drone recruitment speed, spying operations launch, and tether units at long range gain armor and speed, and ignores, okay, so she's like a ranged demolition character. So I'm gonna go with that because it seems easier to micro. So here's our hero character, check this out. Oh, she's pretty slow. Okay, so I gotta be careful with her. I'm seeing it now. Let's get the fuel cells here. And um, then we can go ahead and build another main base building. Since we can multi-build here, that's really nice. So let's get the chome branch and um, cool. Yeah, the Mechanicus is complicated, but they're fun. So drone recruit speed, spying operations, tethered units at long range. Okay, very cool. And new laws repair stations. So drones at long range heal even in combat. Oh, that's cool. All right, so we could go fight the Atreides, but the smugglers are just, I don't know what they're doing. They're just like cackling on my borders, dude. They could be up to anything. Um, do we have a maintenance center up here? We do not have a maintenance center here. So we're going to need a maintenance center here. Um, we can just cut this and build it in the next region over. All right. It's pretty funny how building the technology like makes Lens Rat angry. I think that's a really nice touch. I want to go attack the Atreides, but um, yeah, he's, he's flying around my base with something or other. I don't know what he's trying to do here. My army is like pretty crap right now, but I think I need to get some fighting mechs, but I'm just kind of poor. So let's focus on getting our economy augmented and um, then we can go from there. All right. So that looks fine. I mean, we have three harvesters and we have a lot of ecotech coming out in the main base now. We're positive financially. I don't think the Harkonnens are going to attack. Uh, McLovin wants, what do the smugglers want? He wants spice for intel? Uh, so just to stay in his goodwill, I'm going to accept that. Because I don't want to, um, I don't want to, he's pinned in here. He's a little bit trapped and I'm like the, the closest way for him to get out. So I'm kind of hoping he'll stay peaceful with me. All right, so the Harkonnens are taking the middle, which is good. I need them and the Atreides to start fighting, basically, is the game plan. Yeah, politicians hate progress. It's true, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Uh, do we have any pillaging we can do around here? Once we get the geothermal condensers, that's going to be pretty sweet. We can also get the research station, which is a really, really good one for us because it's going to just sauce our knowledge up really hard. Looks like we clean that out, and we have an airfield here. We do not. Our neural relay is going. So he gives us knowledge per district bonus, and currently we're getting knowledge from that. And the furthest neural one gets an airfield. I don't know if she's like the best agent, but it seems seems okay. All right, so what can we build here? Yeah, the spice field. Okay, so the spice field's gonna go down. We have this. Um, let's go ahead and start grabbing random stuff we have laying around. So we'll get you to do that, and you can go get this. I would like to get fighting mechs, but just kind of poor at the moment, guys. Kind of poor at the moment. So we'll have to uh, we'll have to get our economy. So this is uh, a mission I have that allows all my allied mechanical units to be tethered. Okay. All right. I got my hero ready, the machine mother. And I assume, yeah, she's pretty tanky. Speed, armor, attack, and um, yeah. And then I can set up a repair station. Okay. And it heals him from far away is what it looks like. So once geothermal comes out, that's going to be great. So uh, 189, I can't really win anything. So let's see if the smugglers put a bounty on anything. Um, the elected faction gains that. You know, I don't care about the taint. Um, Harkonnens are going to try and win that. They have more votes than me. So I'm just going to save. Um, yeah, so we're just going to try and just save. I mean, I could have used my free votes, but nothing there really kind of appealed to me. So we're just going to chill out. All right, so now we have the uh, Chome Branch. So our spice exchange rate is going to be quite a bit better. I don't know about the economy of these guys. I think we have another spice field. Wow, we could actually loop all the way around there. We're at 12k though. We're pretty, pretty like sauce with the Harkonnens, yeah. Uh, airfield here would be a nice next building and then we'll bounce out there and do our thing. We have our personal little like pillaging stations. Do this. Um, I want to get at least one patent done. Yeah, I only have one intel right now. 
probably could buy some of these machines. So what we can do is we can buy, oh, that's right. Hold on, let's, let's buy two analytical machines and assign them to factions, okay? So look at my intel now. Now my intel is 13. You, dude, you just gave me an idea. I do have a neutral spice. Yeah, I do, but I need to get another harvester. So, so oh man. So I just got two of those heretical machines and I put them on a uh, faction. So that's just going to be generating the uh, intel for me. That's really cool. I like that a lot. All right, so we pillage that. It's not much money, but it'll do, pig. I could go attack the Atreides, but I don't know about that being worth it. Um, I can build a mothership really, really soon. How much are these drones? These like railgun drones are 400. Oof, all I can really build is like the subways, yeah. Uh, we could get two more of those and just let the subways get melted. Probably the way to do it. So geothermal condensers is there. I don't think we need anything else here. So let's go ahead and go down and get the, um, the full on military tech. Diplomatic maneuvers, I should have done that earlier. That was really stupid because that gives you free gifts. That gives you the free gifts, which is good. Uh, allied drones at medium range gained electrostatic. Okay, so that's I see where that's going. Let's go file a patent now or see if there's an option. Uh, we're going to go ahead and obfuscate the this one. So if we obfuscate that, it has to be something that I've researched. Okay, I'm getting it now. I'm getting the hang of things. All right, so in the main base, let's go ahead and get knowledge here. Knowledge is good for us. Uh, resonance drones above everything. Makes sense. You don't, I know I don't have to own a spice field to mine it. I know that. I just didn't have the money. I've been pretty poor, so I haven't been able to really sustain a lot. I'm just learning these guys. All right, let's get these. And for you, we want an airfield out there. Research is up to 30 now, which has got to be pretty good. You know, I feel like that's got to be respectable at this point. The Harkonnens are here in the middle chilling. Um, all of our spice harvesters are pretty sauce. I'm going to go get this neutral one. And it should be should be accessible for us. All right, let's go get that. And then I ooh I could even go down there and go like Penta. Are we gonna switch into like being a Chome Overlord maybe? Need so much more knowledge. I know. Who is Stern playing with? Just people from the community. Anybody's welcome to join. People of all skill levels. All right. The March of the Machines, man. Yeah, I have a really good authority. And now that my like so I can just spam missions now, right? Okay, so we want to get that. So plus one knowledge per units of any faction in combat in the region. Apply to self. Huh, interesting. And administrative burden. So let's get scavenger teams, supply drops, that sort of thing. We're going to get an airfield. Then we can come and like conquer down this way. I really wish I was using the patent system better, but I think you got to rush something really important that everybody wants, and then you do that. I think that's how you do it. Yeah. But we're learning. We're learning. We got our hero. We haven't fought in a while. It's been pretty peaceful, honestly. Uh, I need to just file a patent because it's stupid. I need to take advantage of that. So parts production, energy, or another faction already got this. Uh, I don't think anybody's going to care about that. Uh, holistic thinking, would that be their equivalent of that tech right there? Yeah, geothermal condensers. Hold on. So we've gotten that. So geothermal condensers, file patent. Another faction has already researched its development. Hmm. And then chum support would be... No, we don't want to get the chum support. We want to get the diplomatic maneuvers. Okay, smugglers are back with a vengeance. They're probably going to just pillage and stuff. So I need to spend money to get, like, the good drones now. Yeah, and, like, rail guns and stuff. Okay. So we'll just do a little scavenger teams here to make a little bit of money off the death of my militia. His army's okay. I think I can chase him away. It's not as scary as it was before. That's for damn sure. And then obfuscate. We're going to obfuscate this one once we research that. Okay. And now we have the long-range drone shooting, right? We should be able to poke them from downtown. We have our character, too. Okay, let's run down here. He, he did a worm call right there, but we can just duke that. Is he trying to take this? I can't tell. Oh, what the hell? Oh, my God. The worm aggro has been changed pretty heavily. What the hell? How did the worm, like, reach over here, bro? Uh, what? He put it in this region. Oh my god, I'm getting absolutely owned by these freaking worms today. It seems like they, they changed the way they work. All right, let's get some fighting mechs. He's just pillaging, so it's not a huge deal. But it's still very troll. All right, so let's go on the lands rad for now so we can maybe have some political say at some point or other. Um, we got the knowledge going. He's just going to pillage, but the worms seem to have gotten reworked somehow. Yeah, let's get the mothership, duh. 
All right, Mothership is going to be how much? The folder relay? All right. So we might need to take it to the smugglers here. He did use a little something something. Am I being attacked on multiple fronts or is it just him? Okay, he's leaving now. It's fine. We could rebuild this base. No big deal. All right, so let's do that. That was really weird, the worm aggro. Okay. So as far as factions go, we want to assign maybe you and you. And then the heretical machine can go in the Atreides for now. I have a lot of agent missions here. Plus one knowledge. All right, so let's set that one up too. That seems pretty good. The worm, the, like he put it in this, it looks like he was in the other region there, but it still hit me for some reason, which was really weird. All right, so we got that back and um, we can eventually attack him. Okay, he's got Banjuri, so units can regenerate in villages with underworld villages. Okay, so that's like his combat character, got it. I have a lot of authority. I'm kind of sandbagging a little bit on it because I don't want to, you know, make too many enemies, but yeah. Once we get that, we can obfuscate this, right? Okay, so are you sure you want to it will remove all its effects and costs? Huh. So what technology would really hurt the smugglers? I don't know. We could obfuscate um, any number of these. Right, man, the amount of like tactical options you have is pretty nuts. It's pretty wild, man. Uh, they make a ship with a computer that doesn't need a guild navigator. Very cool. All right. So pillaging, I'm not going to win anything, I don't think. Did the smugglers put their business? Okay, okay, smugglers, yeah, well, for sure. I've been missing that because of where it is. But we're going to go ahead and vote on the smugglers for that and just try and get a bunch of money. They might come in and try and raid me again, but we'll try and get some fighting mechs. Now Now that he just paid for my my machine army, so that's that's really nice. So the machines can rise once more. Let's go ahead and get you and get another harvester over here, and he can he can go over to this region. And now I have the folder relay. Okay, so teleports all Vernius units at long range towards uh, any region connected to a nodal network. Space folding, wow, okay. So let's, uh, yeah, valuable trinkets is a good one actually because then people can't build the craft workshops. That's true, but I would have to, yeah, let's obfuscate that. That's a good idea. New harvester drone is ready. Let's fly over there. Main base building is ready to party. So what do we want to build? Command post is pretty good. Um, but we could also build two buildings here now that we have the money. So intelligence agency is always nice. Yeah, 2% uh, knowledge. Okay, so let's get the intelligence agency and then we can get the... Yeah, the unfortunately that's not awesome. Can get those two and then we can build the command post to get the military geared out. Yeah, I didn't get the tech I need. Yeah, the neural tropism for the neural core. All right, so we're gonna get a fat army here, basically. I'm gonna try like the revenge of the revenge of the mechs. He paid for turns killer robots. He did. Yeah, I was like kind of broke on that regard, so I was like, eh, we'll see how it goes. I don't know if I could even fight the smugglers. Really, you probably should get a little manpower. I don't even know if we need it though, right? Okay, so we have a shit ton of spice harvesting now. We got five spice harvesters. Uh, his army looks respectable. I don't actually know how the fight goes against him, to be honest. Um, let's do that. And are we connected? Yeah, they're stealing a little bit of spice from us, which is fine. But we're going to build a military factory there and maybe try something. So the railgun, the resonance drones, that's right. So enemy units get electrostatic and have minus one armor. Power per allied and knowledge while tethered. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. But let's go for the power at medium range and then the enemy units have the electrostatic. Uh, repair stations. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know which ones are good there yet. So, for all right, team, we can get some subway soldiers now. I don't know why I can't make more of these because it's. Uh, let's see what I'm missing. Oh, command points. Okay, but the subway soldiers are just like dirt cheap. So, yeah, we'll just get one more. Screw it. So the smugglers are chilling on our northern border. The Atreides are here. I can expand now, but I'm kind of cutting it a little bit. Danger close in terms of uh, all this. So let's actually go ahead and can we shuttle? Have you guys go shuttle over and grab some territories down here. In the meantime, you guys go pillage this one. We're gonna get the military base there. And uh, soon we'll have the automated manufacturer. So recruitment and regeneration speed of all per knowledge point, okay. I feel like our knowledge isn't as amazing, but it's, yeah, it's multiplayer. These are all other players. So our mothership seems pretty squishy. I don't, I don't know. It just looks like it. I don't know if it actually is. My brain at your 
So we need to like spend some of the authority here. We can't be an absolute potato, right? Do I buy up to 10% Chome? Yeah, we have the fighting mechs now, so we have a scary front line. We could just get plowed though, that's the thing. And then is the counterattack gonna be ferocious? Are the Harkonnens gonna backstab me? I mean, that's a stupid question. Of course they will. That's their whole, that's literally their entire thing is being evil, scheming backstabbers. So um, if your army's doing nothing, trying to grab all the stuff from the desert. Yeah, exactly. That's right. The mechs can go grab things. Yeah. All right. So we got the dough. The main base buildings are looking pretty good. Training slots, command posts. Yeah. Unit upkeep is always, what's the upkeep on these mechs? For example, eight. Yeah. So reducing that's going to be good. Uh, let's take that region over. Spend a little bit. We're definitely kind of a contender in terms of like hedge and stuff. Let's get that. And uh, yeah, smugglers are definitely our biggest issue. We probably need to attack them, I, I'm thinking. I don't know what's going on in the south. I think our base will hold because of the extra auto automated militia we have. So file patents. So um, we're going to file a patent there. We're going to file a patent. Um, no. Stop. File patent. We're going to file a patent on chum support. And, um, yeah, should be fine. And, uh, I think we have, or we're pretty much harvestered out at this point. Allied unit losing supply. Yes, all my haggard non mechanical units. And let's go ahead and get the tether here. Okay. We have the, we have the ships. Um, our command points are going to be jumping up here soon. We're gonna get this, and then we can gear out all our regions and be fine. And let's go ahead and take the goodies here. So I've filed patents now, so people will have to pay me when they when they research those technologies. All right, so what do we have? Economy developments are slowed right now? Okay, good. Diplomatic maneuvers. Ooh, that's, a, that's yeah, diplomatic maneuvers has already been researched. So I, I kind of, I think, missed the window a little bit of all those cool technologies, but it's okay. Um, do that and then we can get a spice silo down there as well yeah economy building production sounds good our army's at 45 which i don't know how good that actually is compared to some of the homies all right so fly down here we got the harks here let me see um wanna beat up these smugglers i'm gonna see if he's in on it you know I'm, i'd be curious to test my army's might though i really do want to see how they do uh, okay, so we got like pretty much all those technologies and now we're gonna file a patent on this one, too So automated that's like the end game tech, right? My brain at your service. Okay, so chump support uh, Lay of the land is probably good at this point. We'll get this too. Actually. Let's get this first and then that okay So 37 I can fix anything. Uh, They've been nice to me. No, no problem the Harkonnen is, is afraid. He doesn't want to fight the uh, the homeboy over there. Okay, one more fight engineer. Let's get another residence drone. And um, then we can go ahead and get ready to fight. The lands route's going to be starting soon. And do we want to get anything else? I don't know what other missions they have. You didn't file patents there. We'll be coined out next time if you file it. It didn't research them yet, so it couldn't patent it. You sure? Hang on, let me double check this. Okay, Water Sellers Union, I don't have too much influence. Nobody really does, ironically. Uh, so, Smuggler's got, what, 300? I got 283, so yeah. Let's see what the Smuggler's put a bounty on, because that's just what I'm going to, you know, vote for here. Uh, ooh, Smugglers are super evil, dude. So they're voting me for the controlled markets, but I don't really care, because I'm just going to vote for myself and get a shit ton of money. It actually helps me more than, you know, the spice harvesting probably does. So that's A-OK -okay with me. All right, so he's he's having, getting his jollies off here. And um, yeah, now we're all set. We got a big old army, boys. We got a, a good, good-sized army, I would say. And let's get a couple more fighting mechs and a railgun drone. And um, we have a territory here that we can't quite take. We got a Benny Jesuit agent, which is outstanding. So let's put you on, let's do some of this. Yeah, we probably need to go on counter intel with the Benny Jesuit just so I don't get completely gooned. And then the heretical machines are generating a lot of knowledge for us. So I think I need to go. He's probably going to assassinate something. So the tech gets a little gold medal is what you're saying. All right, so. Okay, did that not work? Oh, is it because somebody already researched it or something? I don't know. 
We're going to have to look into that later. Let's focus a little bit on the combat here. All right, so that's fully done. And now we can do down here, we can do the um, water administrative hall gives, um, we don't really need that. Although the authority is like nice and all, but I think we just hang tight on this and we just get a barracks here. Where are the, drones? the drones are coming. They sure are. And uh, we'll get you on counter intel too. So that should be three on counter intel for us. That was, that was a hundred less income. I'm not sure what you're talking. When you are in the patent screen, the ones uh, you can patent flash. Got it. Okay, thank you. Uh huh. Let's put that over there. And patent. The ones that patent flash, you're saying. Get the spice lab. Oh, we did get it. Yeah, I got the spice lab. Okay, I'm just reading everything. So I click the patent, and it should be flashing, right? You said. Oh, okay. So literally just these. Oh, that's okay. Got it. Okay, so that went through. So diplomatic maneuvers. Got it. Okay. It's interesting that nobody's done it. I will make it. The smugglers are trying to ask for peace now. I miss teleportation. He's trying to trying to get me off him here. With drone -like efficiency. All right. So, oh man, the lag here is going to be a problem, guys. We obey. Oh man, it's so laggy. Uh, where are my long range drones? Why are they here? They should be sniping all these, right? All right, so let's do this. Make sure we're tethered and do scavenger teams. And we can also do this. And we're getting some work in there, I think. Yeah, it's a little bit hard to tell. I, I think his, like, his machine things, they don't do a lot of damage against all our basic guys. Our hero's in here. So let's go ahead and put down the repair station. So we're going to do the repair station here and start healing the drones. All right, we're actually kicking some smuggler butt. Oh, uh, his hero's almost dead. Oh, those railguns thump. Wow. All right, so we're going to pillage him a little bit. Yeah, oh my god, his gas thing does nothing against my drones. That's right. That's like some powerhouse business, isn't it? His his hero's actually going to die, so we killed his hero. Okay. <laughs> hey, we actually did something. We did something. We killed him. Now he's going to lose his mothership. I, he does, I don't think he's realizing that it's not doing anything to me. And now we're just popping it in the face. Oh, he's going to lose his mothership. Holy shit, could I just kill this guy? Where are the drones? As fast as I can. All right, so that was pretty brutal. That was like a slaughter. Oh my god, we just slaughtered him. <laughs> Holy god. All right, so let's get an airfield over here. Yeah, so we're just going to keep hammering these regions. Uh, I can't believe that was so one-sided. We need to get our hero back. Okay, smugglers are attempting to assassinate me, so we need to go ahead and get the cell searches underway. Let's do that. And you're going to go heal, and then we'll just deal with the assassination attempts, and then we'll, we'll go from there. All right, so we just hit him pretty good, but he's got a nice little assassination attempt on me, so it could be scary. Yeah, so if we die here, hey, worst case, we get another game in, which is great. And we've we've had a lot of a uh, lot of good opportunities to learn here for sure. All right, so we're back. Let's heal up. Uh, I believe we can just do the repair station here. I'm ready. Don't touch my drones. All right, so the drones are healing. So let's get the fighting mechs and the resonance drones. And the cell search, man, it, it feels like it takes so long, you know. Those damn cell searches. Because he's probably up here, too. I, I might have to abandon that region. If we get close to dying, we're going to have to abandon it. Oh, my God. That was that was a brutal fight, though. Like, here's the thing, guys. If we continue on that path, um, he's for sure going to die. Like, if he keeps if the fights keep going like that. Unfortunately, yeah, he gets over there. My brain at your service. All right, so let's fly you guys here. Where are the drones? You guys are healing. I can fix anything. Okay, cell search. Cell search and cell search, and then we need to get another one going instantly. Yeah, he's not having that great of a time with it. He's the uh, attempt isn't very good. The Avernius seems to, yeah, that late game army is no joke. All right, we're gonna get siege incentives next and try and karate chop him here if we can. Oh, the fight engineer is getting wrecked. Lovely. Oh, it's because it's tied up in melee. Okay. Uh, let's get the fighting max over there to deal with that. That's gonna be good. Then we need to sell search up here, and then that's basically it, right? So we just we just we search these three, 
main base can get another building. And let's go ahead and get the um, neural nodes. That's pretty good. And uh, okay. So I think we've looked through most of these cells. This one has been discovered. Now we just need to do it up here because that's where he would be doing it. And the attempt is pretty shit. He's actually not even, sure, looks like he's not even sending assassins in. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't look like it. Okay, the mechs have gotten in there. Yeah, the engineers. All right, so gain armor. You can detect stealth units at long range. 20% uh, damage against flying units. And let's do the armor while they're setting up shop. All right. So I think we got most of them. I mean, he's he's not making progress, but I think we need to keep looking just to be safe. Man, I feel so like out of the loop with this faction. Like I have no idea what I'm doing. It's weird. Uh, Harkonnens are up on hedge. Architectural surveys. Let's see. Vote the smugs for serves and I'll take him out for you. I'm trying to get him to vote on the architectural surveys. Um, let's go ahead and do that and then we can try and go and just wipe him out. The elected faction suffers. Okay, let's see if I can get the politics to work in my favor there. Okay, how did that go? Yes, good. The smugglers got it. All right, now it's Gotham's reckoning time. Where are the drones? It's funny that he ended up like enabling me. Yeah, he's at ten percent, which means he's probably. We searched all these areas. The Harkonnens are moving towards us a little bit suspiciously, which I don't like. Um, let's get another. We got two fight engineers. Let's get some fighting mechs. I will make it. And we can run out there. The Damn! Right as I was gonna kill the smugglers. I don't, know, I don't know what the Harkonnens are up to. Yeah, I, just, I guess they just want the space rack. At this point, I don't really care about it. We already got our mothership, right? Oh, did I never build that maintenance center up here? I think I forgot to build it. Yeah, let's get rid of the manpower building and get the maintenance center. Iron out this economy a little bit. Uh, he used the gases on me, but people, people are slowly learning that they don't actually do anything. I don't think this is my full army, is it? It's a pretty small force. I might get wrecked here. We're going to try and take it, though. And uh, see how this goes. All right, so we're doing good damage against his front line, but I think we're going to lose most of our army here. Oh, my hero is a little chopped up. Okay, so she's getting back. See if we could che cheese the hero out. Uh, doesn't seem to be working. Yeah, I don't have enough of a front line to fight this army. Oh, I can't even select my units. It's so laggy. Gah! Jesus, come on, dude. Won't even let me micro. All right, so let's get the railgun drones back. He took some damage, but overall, he definitely came out ahead there. I wonder what he's going to do with that base. Smugglers are at 6%. Oh, yeah, they're teaming me now. So I think they are they they must be communicating, these two. So he's moving in. Uh, cell search here. Is there any, like, back here? Uh, strange. Harks, why are you helping smugs? Let's do some politics. Let's do some haggard politics. We're seeing why they're going to be homies, because they clearly are right now. Okay, so let's run this way. Do I have any sort of fighting power against the smugglers here? He wants to win, he says. Okay. The Atreides player said he's a little bit newer, so I don't know what kind of help to expect from him. Let's move in and take these out. I might have to put aside my squabbles with the smugglers to try and, try and deal with the uh, big boys in the south. But we're going to get that, that record there, and we do have the big ship coming, so that's good. So we managed to salvage that base. Let's get a turret here. And we kill that one range unit in the back, I think. Yeah, we got it. Cool. And what? why are you doing this? Atreides! I'm not, am I in first on hedge? Why are all three of you attacking me? I'm not even first on hedge. Look at this, dude. What is this evil-ass alliance here? Oh my god! This is chaos! Brothers, I am in danger! Uh, so, go for the person ahead of you. Yeah, it's fine, but fighting him off 3v1 is going to be a tall order, dude. I don't know what I'm doing with this faction yet, so that certainly ain't easy. Alright, 
So I don't know if I could beat the Atreides army. I'm going to probably try because I don't want to lose this territory. But we're going to wait for some reinforcements to pop out first. Um, okay, let's see here. So we may need to put aside our differences to kill Hark. I will send non-aggro free tech for you. Deal. I'm trying to politic here, guys. This is like very strange. This 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 weird this weird alliance that's formed against me. I'm not even in I'm not even in first. I'm like far from the strongest player here. Alright, let's do Landsrad. And um we're gonna fly over here and we're gonna try and get like up on the high ground here. Okay, so McLovin is is happy to take peace now. Uh Alright, so we're gonna go drive the Atreides off. Cause we're gonna have to work to take down the Harkonnens together. I don't think this this Atreides player will see the reason, so I'm going to have to attack him probably. All right, let's see the research, uh, the healing station up on the high ground. So I'm healing. See, that big heal, AOE healing with my super tanky front line is pretty damn cool. We got siege incentives. So from here, what do we want to get? Do we want to get like, meh? All right. So the Harks are, are gathering. The Atreides are formidable, for sure. Uh, let's get some more mechs coming out, the fighting mechs. Sucks to spend that kind of money, but yeah, his army's pretty good. Man, just losing territory on so many fronts. Oh, he was just liberating that. That's strange. Um, all right, so let's pause. Pause until he reconnects. Yeah, your oh, your mothership can teleport your army. That's right. Yeah. So teleports all Vernius units at long range towards any region connected to the nodal network. Okay, all Vernius units. Oh shit, that's cool. Okay, guys. Yeah, we're learning we're learning trial by fire. There's a lot of things. I, I thought I had some resonance drones in that army, but I guess not. Um waiting for Harkonnens. Yeah, because it said he disconnected. It'd be a shame if he DC'd. We'll try and get him back. And uh, let's cut this. Get a resonance drone too. I had, I had, I thought I had one in that army, but maybe not. Um, yeah, we got to go beat up the Harks. We need to take down Harks though, Atreides. And yes, you beat my ragged army. <laughs> we got to give him some props too. All right, let's earn this guy's trust. Uh, he could be running a little bit low on supplies here. If he chases my character, I don't think he'll be able to make too much more progress. Did we lose a special region there? I don't know if we did. Okay, so we got that free tech. Let's take that. Um, we don't really have too many more angles to expand. The Harkonnens are going hard for it. Is he back? Uh, Hark, you back? I don't know if he is. Well, hopefully he can reconnect here. Rally points can help because you keep spawning in. That's such a big difference. Okay, so we pause, waiting for the Harkonnen player. If he doesn't connect soon, we're just going to have to Mortal Kombat it out. I don't know how long you can take to reconnect. Damn, dude. Cannot reconnect. All right, so be it. You know, the House Vernius has uh, sci-fied it. So he's chasing my character here, which is risky, because he's going to lose all these units of supply now. Because he's going to have to run all the way home, right? So I need to learn what these freaking techs do, and this one gives me knowledge, right? Okay. Okay, so she's able to chase these guys down. He's supply dropped, well played. Harks are, unfortunately, um, you know. Yeah, now AI will cheat. The AI is, is pretty bonkers. It, it gets pretty crunk. I'm going to go try and take that that spot as well. Rail drones, residence drones. Yeah, they seem pretty cool, so we're going to get a bunch of those. I need to practice the, the big ship. So how, what is the cooldown on this thing? Cooldown is 10 days. Okay. Yeah, it's 10 days. The dreaded Ixian DDoS attack, that's what happened to him, dude. I don't know, how can we try and win this game now? It seems like it's going to be incredibly hard. I guess we just got to, you know, farm the Harkonnen. Because I now have peace. Um, assassinating me doesn't seem like it's going to be super good. This regions are our pillaging regions. We've been sitting on a ton of authority for a long time. Probably annexing some Harkonnen territory would be good. I can't believe I'm in second place on Hedge. I don't know what everybody else is doing. All right. Let's roll down here. We're going to try and take the middle now. Yeah, the desert blue screen, I know. 
Bernie seems really fun though. It's complicated as hell. Like there's obviously a lot of interactions, which, um, is there a way to clear all this? So I don't have to like look at all that, maybe. All right, let's see, let's go for this. Landsrad's coming up. Cause it's the eye of council. It's, uh, can we win eye of the council? No way. Smuggler's got 290, Hark's, yeah, they're, they're quite a bit as well. Um, so let's actually deny this. The elected faction gets this. So we'll put this on the Atreides just a little bit and just see what happens. I, I didn't see anything. Oh, Imperium Edict. Yeah, it's fine. So we didn't even have to use any votes there. <laughs> he says, what does a nuke do? I'm like, try it. All right. So we got fighting mechs. We need to get some more railgun drones. Uh, just to save money, we're going to get some Subvoid soldiers. He says he's going to try it, which makes me a little bit nervous. I don't know how we pull this one out, honestly. I don't know how we pull this one out. It's going to be a tricky one. And uh, we could get the experimental factory here. It doesn't really do anything. We could get the military base. Uh, let's just get like a basic income building. Are we fully developed in all these regions? Yes, we are. So now everybody's going to go back to their schemes. The Harkonnens can, peace can be made with them now. Um, but I'm going to fight them in the middle and try and take some, take some land where I can. I would like to buy into Chome, but... Uh, guys? Guys? Hark's at 40% and climbing. They have to die? Hark's have to die, dude. I'm sorry, I got no time. We're going in. We're going in, baby. All right. So we're moving into the Harkonnen lands. The AI is cheating. The AI is cheating. Guys, you got to get their bases. We're going to lose to the Harkonnen because the Harkonnen AI cheats super hard. So it's, uh, it's a hard one. Let's get some more fighting mechs. Uh, let's do a repair station here. And um, from here, we can get some more fight engineers and rail guns. Yeah, why not? Sure. So we're healing everybody up. Uh, they need to go like right now, like 10 minutes ago, they need to have gone. And let's take the middle so we can kind of play for a hedge victory too while we're at it. Um, but yeah, no, they, they need to go soon or else we're going to die. He says he's loading the nukes. I love it. All right, let's get this water region in the middle. Um, unfortunately, we won't be able to connect it to our network because we have two connectors here. So that's a little unfortunate. Let's fly you out this way. And uh, here we go, man. Oh my God, the Harkonnen AI is cheating. Who would have thought the AI would be the one to end the uh, end of this great house here? Oh uh, yeah, sure, let's do that. You got plenty of that. Chome ain't gonna happen. I should be fine tuning my base to like get rid of Plascrete and whatnot, but I'm kind of just like really lasered in on this right now. All right, so we're trying to take this region. Uh, let's go to the space wreck and take that. Where's his main base? Jesus, it's so far. Oh my god, guys, we're gonna lose. Uh, their army. I'm just gonna get this and then go straight to his main base. There's there's no way. Maybe go down here. You gotta rush main base or are we dead? Holy shit. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna get the middle, which is cute. I don't have too much time. Let's like hammer the Harkonnen armies a little bit. We need to keep you on here to make sure we keep capturing that. And uh, supply drop, we have that. And uh, defense breaches, yes. So the defense breaches must go. We're gonna leave that to capture. We're going to the main base. The Atreides are attacking in the south. You see, this is the response that should have happened earlier when they were all triple teaming me. <laughs> this is what should have happened. All right, so let's get down here and roll. We need to drop supplies for the, uh, the peasant, you know, humans in our army. And uh, cool, so you guys need to run down here. We have like a big ass army rolling into our base here. Hopefully it doesn't, oh no, it looks like it's going to smuggler signs. All right, so I think we're gonna get the middle, which is gonna be good. We have the, what's really cool is like you can heal. Oh no, come on. Oh my God, if I get wormed here, dude, I'm gonna be so upset. Okay, hold ground and let's go ahead and grab our hero character and we can do the AOE healing, which is really cool that you can kind of heal in foreign territory like that. Um, we don't need this anymore. Uh, we can keep the military base here. That's actually kind of useful. And we can't note up, unfortunately. So it is what it is. All right. So we're getting closer. Oh, it's over. We have to go straight to the main base. That's that's our only chance. And I got wormed in here. All right. Well, no more games. 
Let's run for it. Uh, go to Carthag. Holy shit! No, the AI cheats. When the AI takes over, it um, it it just gets a ton of free resources and just buys Chome like it's nobody's business. So we're gonna lose to the the Chome, and plus nobody's buying Chome right now. I'll buy a little bit to make it harder, but yeah. The friends breaches. <laughs> This is why it's really shitty when people leave public games because the AI cheats super hard. It's like really bad. Go! I don't think we're gonna get it. I don't think we're gonna get it here, but we're gonna try. <laughs> why do you gotta disconnect and ruin our games? Come on, horny. <laughs> yeah, the AI just instantly cheats in, in the chome. It's really stupid, but it's okay. At least we got to see. At least we got to see it. I should have just ran straight to their main base a while ago. Yeah. GG, well played. So take that as like a trial game. We got to learn Vernius a little bit. Uh, I don't know what the optimal strategy is for them, honestly. I'm not sure how to play them, but we're going to make a second lobby. So anybody who wants to join now. Uh, let me see if, if Homeboy Pwn wanted to fire it up. Pwn, did you want to? That's why that's why public lobbies in this game are rough, because the AI just insta-cheats. Like buying 10 Chome, he didn't have that much money. The player didn't. So uh, you want in? All right. So if you join our game, please do not leave, because that's what's going to happen. We would have to have gone, all three of us, like really quick, straight to him. I don't know if the smugglers did. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I like I like him. Check in with old Pwn Dog. Let's see if he wants to join. I have some ideas about Vernius now. I like the automated machines to get, like, I think they can definitely go expansionism, but... The neural nodes getting cut off can really screw up your empire. Vernius harvesters need to be tethered to harvest. You can't just end them to any territory. Yeah, most of them were tethered. Most of them. I think you did pretty well, considering you attacked pretty relentless from everyone. Yeah, we did okay. All right. So Pwn's not going to join. He's got work early. So uh, turns game, skirmish, and anybody's welcome to join. And we'll try them again. So I want to I want to give it a chance, but there's so many reworks. By the way, there's so many things that have been reworked. So he gives you influence per knowledge, and she makes spying a little bit easier too. This one is okay. The airfield thing kind of seems a little sucky. I think I like these two maybe. Yeah. So anybody's welcome to join. Here it is. And avoid investing in lots of upkeep buildings early so you don't bottleneck. Uh, yeah, but with Vernius, I think you're supposed to do that. I think you're you're supposed to invest quickly so you can get a lot of knowledge and then put patents down and then you sustain that with the pillaging economy i think is what you're supposed to do okay so no one leave please all right here we go let's go time baby gg so let's see what they pick let's go time man Dude, the Dune movie was amazing. I'm glad you guys are all getting out and see it. So pick your factions. We have new counselors for everybody. Um, like, for example, the Atreides have, um, they have... You have Paul Atreides now. He's one of your counselors. Uh, the Hark AI just cheated in one, unfortunately. Yeah, so it was kind of stupid. They were already like pretty high in Chome and he disconnected, so it was very easy for them to just cheat. Uh, the map size is... Usually medium is what we do. Yeah, medium is fine, I think. I don't think we usually play on large. Okay, so we got Karina, we got Harkonnens. Fremen apparently are like really bugged out right now. So this guy, you get influence per knowledge and immediately gain influence when entering into conflict with another faction. Their, their counselors, none of them seem like that insane. All right, good luck, have fun. So we're gonna see what we can do with this guy. Influence with knowledge, seems good. It is time, let House Vernius feast. So my initial impressions are is that they seem pretty weak. Um, you know, I remember the first couple times I played the other factions, everything felt pretty intuitive. But there's obviously a lot to be discovered here, I think. Yeah, the obfuscate will ruin Carino. That's the idea. I'm going to obfuscate the, uh, the hedge buildings, the craft workshops. Yeah. We're going to do it, man. We're going to do it. I'm thinking about like, yeah, I think you just got to pillage a lot early to get that fat economy going. The obscure, you can block like any one technology from happening. I need to like rush to something quickly and then like get a patent on it right away so that everybody has to pay me. 
Yeah, I need to be better about that. All right. So for our first units, I think we just go for the um, the fighting mechs, probably. They seem a little bit more resilient. The railgun drones are cool. Let's get two of these. And um, double ornithopter is usually going to be the way. Go like have fun. Welcome. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, our armies felt pretty good late game, though, to be fair. That felt very good. So I was... The early game's weird, though. It's weird. It's not like Harkonnens, where it's just super obvious. Like, oh, you know, Chome, Spam, and all that, which is what I'm used to playing. All right. So we got um, Bloodbath and Beyond on the Harkonnen. Very flavorful. Wheat Noodles on the Patish Emperor and Post Salesman here is going to be on old uh, Lado Atreides. All right. So it's an Auto Explorer, and our Fighting Max have arrived. So then we can get two Subvoid Soldiers, too. And that, okay, yeah, maybe this is, like, the way. Let's fight this. We obviously need to grab our spice field. Then we need to, we need to, yeah, you can get, you can get multiple patents. Yeah, I need to use those correctly, though. I didn't really know how they worked last game because it was my first game. Oh, of course, we get a fuel cell on the other side. All right, we'll take it. All right, so let's punch that guy in the face. We got our militia dudes coming, the subvoid soldiers. So we'll karate chop them. I feel like my game sounds really low. All right. Pump the jams on that. Ready. Have you go scouting. Take this, and you go grab that for the free money, and then we go get this, 100%. So you need to develop your base like a giant snake. Yeah, last game I was uh, I was harvesting spice in neutral territories pretty heavily. All right, so sequential thinking. Um, let's go ahead and get the heretical computing really quickly. That seems very good. So heretical computing lets you build the uh, agents, which are computers, and then you can put them on like early chome or early authority to expand really quick. So I think I'm going to do that. All right, so you guys can go grab this region. And for now, we need to get a nodal network here. Connect that bad boy. These guys are so squishy. Oh, man, you really got to babysit them, huh? Oh, we got scientists. That's really good. So we're going to pop the base on that. Oh, we don't want to lose you. Uh, uh, be free. Free Willy. So, scientist is like an S tier trait for these guys, I think. Seems really good. Let's take the money, which is valuable, and then you can go ahead and get that money down there, too. Uh, is that you don't have capture initial spice fields because, yeah, that's true. That's true. You don't need to capture the initial one. That's a really excellent point you raised, buddy. Thank you for pointing that out. Um, do we take this or do we go down here? Oh, man, this is like kind of crappy because it's going to screw up our tethering. We'd have to expand to the north. All right, so let's go get you here. Yeah, did we cancel this? It's 31, and then we get this region and expand out that way. I think that's going to be the better play for now. Because we can get fuel cells from water. It's not a huge deal. So heretical computing is on the way. I want to get the tech so I can lay down a patent really quickly. I know it might be stupid, but I think it's going to be awesome. Oh, actually, that doesn't work either, because, yeah, it's connected to two nodes. Shit, this is, like, actually a little bit problematic, our expansion pattern here. Ah, this is, this is a little dodgy. Okay, let's just chill out and scout a little bit and see what we got first. And we can do some pillaging. This base obviously sucks, too. Although, what's the water at? Three there? Okay. So let's go pillage. Let's get a militia in there. All right. Yeah, you can just rush the first fuel cell province. Very nice to get screwed hard by the map gen. Yeah, this map gen is weird because I, I can't have the tether here and here. So I have to expand north, I think, to keep my... Oh, man, I was reading chat again. I lost in another unit. That sucks. It's okay. They're just the subvoid soldiers. So we're just going to build a legion of these haggard boys and hopefully get some work in there. All right, so scientists should be online. Yeah, I can't get maintenance center on this. I guess I could get a maintenance center here. Yeah, let's just pillage it for now. And there's another spice field down there. So if we expand that way, yeah, that kind of screws us up. You can use the desert to cheat connections by skipping a province and then using the desert as a connection. Interesting. Yeah, there's a tech for that, right? Destination registered. Where is that? Um, deep desert is... Sequential thinking. Yeah, that one. Okay, we can use the deep desert as a connection, right? So he's trying to get an agreement with me. Oh, he wants a he wants one of my gadgets. Oh, and a non okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna sell him one of my gadgets. Here we go. That's very flavorful. So we have the heretical machine. 
we don't have a regular agent yet, but now we do. So let's get you on Arrakis, and you can go on Arrakis as well and give us a bunch of authority so we can expand. All right, so we already have, like, really, really good knowledge, and we're going to be even greedier and just go, like, hit the scientist hard here. Destination registered. So, yeah, we should have grabbed this this then, and then we could have gone here and used the desert. Damn, we could have used that. That would have been really smooth. It is what it is. So patents are at 5k hedge. Okay, so let's get composite materials. And for the agent, we have another one. So let's put him on Chome just to get a little bit of Joe right now. Direction required. All right, so we'll get this. How are we going to connect that, though? That's really dodgy. As so technically, we don't need yeah, but we need that because of the scientist trait. And okay, that that makes it easy. We have another spice field up there, so we just move north. Uh, we leave that probably. And let's go ahead and get the fighting mechs. Yeah, we have good money at the moment, so let's get another fighting mech and another subway soldier, and push up. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna get composite materials, and then we can go ahead and get the um, sequential thinking. Maybe. Hmm. All right, let's replenish supplies first. We'll pillage this one, and then we go grab that, because it has higher water. But scientists are pretty awesome. That's, that's like, just so good for you. So I need to get to 5K, maintain money, and file patents on important technologies. That's what needs to happen. That's what needs to happen here, my friends. So obviously, everybody's going to be going for Chome integration. So let's rush Chome integration this time around. And we're going to then put a patent on Chome integration. Um, hopefully getting that before other people do because of our scientists. And then we can patent it is the, the power fantasy. All right. We're going to try it. Yeah, they're definitely very unique, this faction. Very unique. I, I think they have a lot of potential, but it, the first game was absolute chaos. I just didn't know what was happening or what planet I was on. I was like, oh my god, what's happening? All right, so that's going to go. We get this, and then we grab that after. And then, oh, we got the space wreck again. Okay, that's pretty god tier. Uh, spice exchange rate, is that going to get slapped on me? I, it doesn't really matter at this point. We could take the North, North Pole for free. Honestly, um, I'm just going to put this on Harkonnen. That's typically what you want to do because they have the best spice. So We're going to see. They might vote me, but I don't think Bernius is known for its spice or anything. Alright. So, do we get this? People are still voting. The land chat is underway. Let's grab another one of the fighting soldiers here for our early pillaging. I need to micro a little bit cleaner with these guys too, I think, in the early game. All right, so we take that. Uh, we got a raider down here, so let's go help out against that. Then we get the neural networks expanding. And we do have this guy, so I need to get... Yeah, I have an early friendship with the Baron. That's going to give us knowledge. And then if we can get Chome integration and rush that and then put a patent on it, that feels like a pretty MLG play. We're slowly learning, my friends. We're slowly learning. Waiting for orders. In worst case, you know, it's just, you know, spice tech for me, which isn't terrible. Alrighty, so that's going to be ours. Let's get the neural node here and get a demo militia, whatever, just something to hold it down. Let's run up there. And then you guys go and get this base. And that's going to be a second spice field, and then it's all the way up. So we got pretty lucky with our expansion pattern here. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Yeah, very robotic sounding, which is kind of flavorful. Let's pull you up. We got a lot of units. Uh, let's. Oh, that's right. So we got, no, the armory, we need survival training. Shh. All right, so we're not going to be at 5k hedge for a while. Maybe we should chill out on the patent thing a little bit, but Chome integration is very good, so it's very, very good. Command needed. All right, so that's all set. Let's go ahead and get some H2O. And are we going to lose anything? Yeah, not if we're, gonna, if we're, if we're paying attention, we won't. All right, so that looks good down there. We have a shit ton of Plascrete, and um, we don't have enough money at the moment to build this. Do we need... Ah, oh, that's right, we need fuel cells. Yeah, because we didn't get the freaking um, water batteries yet. Oh, yeah, okay, so let's cancel that and get the water batteries. So then we don't need to worry about fuel cells as much. And um, we can get you up here to go check that out. You get back on that base. Space has cheaper construction, so fuel cell here would probably be... Right up here would be the best. Okay, let's see how much that's going to take. Yeah, I'm not sure the clear win condition for this faction, too. I, I agree that that's a bit of a strange thing about them. All right, so everybody's healing up. It's eating a bit of manpower, unfortunately. Uh, let's send some mechs to go grab stuff. So we're going to go grab all these, and um, we're going to get you to come down here and grab this. 
And this, he's trying to get a non-aggression pact with me. I'm happy to take that because that increases my knowledge. So that's uh, that's solid, right? That seems solid. And um, soon we're going to get the yeah survival training and then water batteries will help us out. Krino wants, Krino's the only one I don't want to ally with because they're extra villainous. All right, so Solari, we can get the Spice Laboratory per exploited Spice Spice Field. That one's really good, so we're going to get that, I think, as our first one. Although knowledge, the Knowledge Research Center is really good. Yeah, let's get the Research Center first. We can even build another main building, too. Let's get another water up here. And um, for you, do we want to get a Maintenance Center here? Probably not, but we can get a Spice Field. Direction required. The Post Sales been sending me a uh, political. Oh, man, he's, he's getting real, real... 2k for a research and non-aggression pact okay dude okay i will accept this yeah so the reason why they're allying with me too is because they get the benefit of technologies i've researched but i'm more than happy to do this uh lands chad do we want to buy a machine i think we do so let's buy a machine and put it on lands rad so that's going to give us a fair amount of influence so we can start winning some lands rad positions and let's head up here now and do this no, we never got those. So when we come back down, we'll have to grab all that. Their assassination style is very good. Yeah, I've seen that they have some good assassination tech. The only thing that I don't like about assassination for them is that they don't have um, agent recruitment speed increases. So we're at 21 water. So let's go grab this. And now our tech is done. So let's go ahead and finish Chome integration. And now we can get another spice harvester because it just uses water. So should be pretty easy. All right, so we're moving up. I love this little drone here. He's awesome. Attack. So let's hit the range units first. And you, buddy, can grab this, this, this. Looking awesome. Yeah, this game is going way smoother than the last one. That's for damn sure. We can even build um, an intelligence agency right now, which is going to be money. That'll give us agent recruit speed very quick. Bernice wants to get the spy charter. Yeah. 131, guys. We already have the space wreck. That's pretty, pretty powerful at this point in the game. Why do I feel like Vernius, like barely needs Blastcrete? Like, I just feel like that's just kind of been a recurring pattern here. <clears throat> All right. So I need to maintain some money now. This is going to put me up to almost 5k hedge. And that's when I can start um, putting patents down on things. All right. So let's have you go grab this, this, and this, buddy. We got all these freebies coming to us. Yes, give me the Plascrete. And um, yeah, so we need to do that. You can go ahead and do this and we can get this. All right, we got our next Spice Harvester. So we can come over here. And for tech, we've do we want to get that? I don't know if like rushing that is very smart. Rushing geothermal condensers might not be terrible, so we could patent that one too. But let's do the, the tech here. Holistic thinking actually is probably better. Yeah, that one will give us, for each of the unthinking machines we have, it'll give us more knowledge. All right, let's get the neural netway connected. Waiting for orders. Yes. Run back down. Here we go, get this. Yeah, the Fremens, yeah, Fremen apparently are like have some bugs where they're like super OP, which is a shame. Uh, all right, so we're gonna spend water on that and we're gonna send some water on you. We're gonna sell a little bit more spice. Command needed. I'm definitely liking our, um, our base down here. Definitely digging it. We're gonna need to maybe rework some of the connection nodes or just keep expanding this way, perhaps. Yeah, regardless, we'll, we'll figure it out. All right. So we're at 4.9K. Uh, we can go pillage these nearby regions, which we don't plan on taking. I feel like I kind of have to take that fuel cell region. Yeah, it's 119, so we need to wait for that to wear off. Direction required. All right, boys. The Haggard bros are gonna go pillage that. The machine bros. Okay, so we got this up top. Let's get some heavy since it's really far away. Uh, the water isn't good here. And what traits do we have? Agent recruit speed. Okay, that ain't bad. Uh, so the thing about Bernie's bases, if you mix and match the types of buildings, you get all the bonuses. So it's like if you have two red buildings and one blue, you get the bonuses of two red and one blue. Got it. Yeah, I got to get used to that. Got to get used to that. That's going to give us influence. And uh, we can definitely play politics a little bit harder this game. All factions get a Benny Jesuit agent. Okay. Uh, manpower costs. Yeah, I mean, nothing here is really that exciting, so I'm just going to let the fates take it. Should have used my free votes, but I'm just being lazy. Um, all right, so maintenance center would go right here. So 
we're going to get a fat maintenance center, and we now have a Benny Jezzard agent. Got to get used to this new layout, too. It's so different. Our knowledge of this game is really sauced. Um, so for you, we can go on the Chome. That's going to make us quite a bit of money. And we can do the Spice Enlightenment Mechanization Guild collaboration. Yeah, I'm not sure. Not sure what strategy we want to employ here. I kind of feel like political is going to be good Understood. based on how we're like tucked away in the corner. And then we can get a listening post here soon. Yeah, we need a little bit more Plasteel for that one to work off. Looks like we have a siege up here. That's going to be a little while before we can grab it. All right, so he got that. Um, let's have you head back to the base. Got a free flyer, and now we know where Carino is. So we use this, and then we do the deep desert thing. Yeah, we get the neuro, neuro action. Once we get 5k, we're going to slap down like a bunch of patents, right? That's that's what I'm thinking here. All right, so let's hit this. You're coming back down here. I do like that I can just like literally waddle out into the desert and just grab things. You hear those gunfire sounds? It sounds like StarCraft II Marines. I don't know if it's just me who heard that. Hmm. I think we hold up here. Looks like we do. That's good. So it's a good thing I built those militia. Uh, I can grab another base soon. It's 90 for this one, but we can use the deep desert as a connection, right? Yeah, that seems like that's the power play there. We have supply drops. We do not. Direction required. I feel like we want to buy another uh, analytical machine and assign it to a faction. So we just get the intel passive because now we're getting 10 intel. Orders. So I think that's a big strength of Vernius is, is like applying those early, um, those early dudes. Dudes for the dude god. All right. So, man, we research stuff so quickly. As far as this goes, let's get diplomatic maneuvers. Yeah, that feels good. And uh, are we at 5k yet? We need, we're need. we not, dude. We're like a sliver away from that, which is so troll. Probably get a little bit of manpower. Um, these are geared out. That's still on punishment time. Yeah, that's that's not going to work out. Are we the closest to 5k? We're, yeah, we are the closest right now. Plascrete's coming together and in the main base. Uh, connected neural produce one fuel cell. Okay, that's pretty good actually. So that'll give us a bunch of fuel cells for our experiments. I did forget the siege. Well, last game was kind of overwhelming because I was like trying to learn all the new stuff. Don't you mind if I get a, a space field up north? Treat yourself. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure I have an alliance with all these guys right now. Yeah, I got like non-aggros with everyone. So we're, uh, we're going to chill out. So we'll take this and then we'll eventually grab that to connect it. But I'm just doing this to get up so I can file some patents real quick. I need to optimize how that system works. Be careful with those machines, though. They cost lands rad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I learned that when I was looking at them last night. All right. So Spice Enlightenment, Chome Support. Um, we can go down and get the... Maybe let's go Political Vernius this game. That seems like it could be fun. Okay, file a patent. So file patent. Did that work? Okay, we got a patent on Chome Integration. Yes. And now we can file a patent. I don't have these researched yet. That's money, though. That's going to give us a whole bunch. And um, valuable trinkets would be really good, but I think I'm going to obfuscate that one. Okay, guys. So we just got a, a valuable um, patent on something. Exciting. So next, let's go down to parallel training. No, we want to just do this and then this. And we're going to try and patent that too. So we're just going to slap the patents on like everything. Uh, I can build a neural node here. And we grab this in a couple days. As a matter of fact, let's move out that way. So did the patent come through? It did. Okay, so now I have that. Oh, so dude, the patent thing is so much fun. It's so much fun. I gotta, I gotta figure out how, how to optimize this, huh? So we got 400 here. This one has the cheaper building spot. So we're gonna go ahead and build the um, spacing guild branch here since I have that. And the maintenance center is right there. So that's hitting everything, which is good. And oh, look at that. So, oh, look how it connects in the deep desert. Okay. See, now we're learning. Trial by fire, baby. Trial by fire. So we can go grab this next. Yeah, all right then. All right, I'm getting it now. Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. All right, let's get some more knowledge. Dude, this game is going a million times smoother than the first one, by the way. Holy shit. Listening posts. Yeah, that would probably be good, actually. And then we can get a listening post here on these bad boys. Yes. 
Good, Anakin. So that's already connected. Let's get another Spice Harvester to work that. Um, Atreides has bought a patent for Chum integration and so is Carino. Oh, that's so cool. I just made a thousand gold. All right. So let's see where else we can file a patent. Another faction has already gotten that. Okay, so parallel training has not been researched yet, but everybody gets this. So we're gonna research that real quick and then file a patent on that. And, um, and then we're gonna try and get geothermal condensers. Yes, pay me, pay me my dues. All right, so for sure an airfield out here. We have another harvester coming out. Uh, auto recon and auto recon. All right, looking fine. We're, we're okay. How else can we monopolize the uh, the economy here? I need to like fine tune my agents too. So I could buy one more machine. It's gonna cost 15, but we'll put it on the spacing guilds. Great. Uh, although we could even go on Chome. Yeah, oh, that's another 20. That's so good, that's great. All right, so we got you. Let's get you down here, buddy. And we can gear you out. And then, is this one ready to take yet? Not quite. Not quite ready to take. So factions, do we want to assassinate or anything? I don't think so. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. So the airfield's going to come. Lance Chad is coming soon. Um, my agent this time is the political guy. So we have the intel and in, uh, influence production. So we should be able to win some early offices here, I think. So what is that? Data center, listening post, and at, allows for the construction of data center and listening post. What? Shouldn't that be? Okay. So we're at 401 politically. We're definitely ahead of everybody. We can take the uh, money right now and that's gonna let us file some more patents. So who has the most? Uh, so I need to beat 228. Yeah, so we don't need to spend, no, 328 technically, so. All right, and then we can file some more patents on some juicy, juicy technology here. All right, so let's just put 400 in that. Yep, I don't have that many villages, but it's still gonna be a you know, couple thousand gold, so. All right. And um, we're gonna get parallel training, yes. The listening post is looking great up here. We have like no plascrete built, which is hilarious. Probably should throw some of that down. I just got the money, so is this gonna finish? Okay, file patent. Yes, so we got parallel training patented now. So late game, that's gonna come through and make us some money, I'm hoping. I don't know how like worth it those are, but they're, it is hilarious for sure. And do we keep expanding out? I think our bases up there are looking fine. We have the listening post. Uh, we could probably just go on a pillaging party now. So let's go pillage a little bit. And for the, yeah, let's just get our spice eco sauce down. We actually are pretty deep in the military already. So yeah, let's just like get the spice going. Do it, get the spice enlightenment. All right, so we pile into fight. And I do need to get the tech for these guys. I don't know why I haven't done that yet. So let's get the freebies so they don't cost anything. No Solari upkeep. Let's retreat you. Shut you down. They straight up stole the Starcrafts down for those for the shooting on those guys. All right. So we're just going to pillage this. I guess I could take it, but I think we're okay here. Uh, then we go get the fuel cells in, what, 34 days? Really? I thought I only pillaged it once. Huh, it's a long time. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, 156, I kind of want to just hang here and take this region actually, and then connect it with the deep desert. That's actually pretty sweet. So we're just gonna leave you here and hold this down. And we're gonna do that, all right. So for here, let's get the spice laboratory. And that's gonna be pretty sweet. Here to serve. This region's going for us. We got the listening post. Yeah, there's a little bit of action to the north of us, which I didn't really quite notice. And let's get you up here and grab all these things. So let's get this, 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 and this. And we'll take the spacing shield pop ship parts with that. All right. Yeah, I forgot about how the data center thing worked. I don't know if they changed that in this patch, but yeah. So we got Carino next to us. Carino is scary for sure, but you know, this, this whole patch, everything is pretty much different now. So I think I'm gonna try and win some offices. Granted my lens rad sucks pretty bad, but I'm getting plus 30. So all my heretical kind of, you know, technology isn't apparently pissing people off that badly, which is good. Let's get some more heavies down there. Uh, we definitely need to get some more plascrete. So what is that? Yeah. Yeah, the amount of plascrete we have is pretty pitiful. We've got scientists going here. And uh, yeah, we're doing good on hedge also. We're doing pretty good. 
Yeah, tethering across the desert is pretty cool. The fact that it'll connect here is, is quite nice. All right, take the spice. And um, I can also sell people my machines. I can do the... Um, Greetings. Yeah, I can, I can sell them the machines, which is really funny. So Spice Enlightenment. Is there any other patents I can file at the moment? Holistic Thinking. Yeah, I don't know if that how exactly that works, but... So Chome Support is fun, but I don't think we need to file any more patents right now. So Fusion Plant is probably pretty important for us, and Fuel Cells I think will be nice. Physical wiring. Infiltration cells in a neighboring region do not... Oh, so you don't... You can get more infiltration cells with these guys. That's pretty cool. Man, so much to do. The spice must flow. It is flowing. It's, it's flowing at the moment. All right, let's get our harvesters all pimped out. Yes. And yes. So we're spending water to do that, which is tough. And we need to make sure we're getting water in most of the regions that we can. Because if you don't have fuel cells, you spend um, the other goodies, obviously. Get some basics there. And let's take this. And that's going to just skyrocket us up. Yeah, look at our glorious empire, though. What's the deal with this faction? Uh, yeah, it's it's like the... Um, you, got, you got all the robots, basically. Not, not much deep insight here, just robots. Yeah, very fun, though. Complicated, complicated. But I'm starting to see the patterns of what can work. Definitely not as easy as some of the other ones, though, from my initial observations. So when somebody attacks me or goes into conflict with me, I am going to get... Uh, influence, which is kind of cool. And for you, is this connected to the nodal network? It should be. So let's slap that down. And it should connect through the deep desert here, if I'm not mistaken. All right, let's go scavenge this. And you can grab this and this. And then, do we want to get any manpower? I don't know if we really need to. Our plastic rate's up. It's slowly getting there. If you file a patent on holistic logic, it will patent the normal tech on that spot. Got it. Okay. So it might be worth doing. We do have 4K, so let's just file a patent here. Somebody might get that. That that's not the most common tech in the world, but like I said, it could it could happen. So let's get a listening post for influence. Um, that was taken. Definitely want to start pillaging again. And uh, man, our empire is so weird, the way it's shaped. So who do I want to start spying on? Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to. Try and do a little infiltration cell action. Oh, is that on the Harkonnens? Why couldn't I do an infiltration cell on the on the other guys? Let's see here. And then you can just go on the Harkonnens. Yeah, perfect. So I can see their income and stuff, or their hedge, yeah. Once you get more characters assigned to their factions, you can get more information about what they're doing. All right. So we got a siege. Uh, the siege here is going to give us 10% military health. So we'll start trading with them for water for one manpower, sure. Because we could expand down there and then the deep desert would connect it. So that's actually really good. And it is a valuable trinket. So that's probably our next spot where we expand. All right. So tech. Uh, that gives us quite a bit. Lay of the land is kind of cute. Stealth gear and um, Landsrad support. Yeah, let's do Landsrad support just so I can play the politics a little bit harder and then we'll go from there. Waiting for orders. All right. Where are we at? Give me all the goodies. Give me all the freebies. We got another main base building. And um, as far as this goes, I can get the Chome branch. And then I can also slap down another one, can't I? Ooh, sneaky, sneaky. We have a patched up Ornithopter here. Oh, Atreides bought the patent for parallel training. Carino bought it. And then, oh, dude, they're all paying me the big bucks right now. This is great. I love this. This is really fun. Yeah, it's very fun. All right, let's creep back here. And the lands rat is now in council. So economy development's being slowed. I do have, I definitely have the most political influence this game. Uh, I think I'm gonna just gonna try and get the lands rat. No, you know, I, it will make me eligible for more offices, although I am already ready for Eye of the Council. So maybe I just save my votes for Eye of the Council and try and win that and get the free agents. House Vernius is like technology. Uh, you see this like big purple yeah, that's fine. I'm just going to like spend my free votes to try and get this and see what happens. So this neural node like connects your empire, and, and if you don't have that connected, you take a penalty. But it also provides you a multitude of benefits as well. Did I end up winning that? No, Harkonnen got it. Okay. Do a little bit of pillaging here. This place will be ready to take in 18 days. And um, let's get some heavies out here since it's very isolated and a demo. And yes, that's right. We can build this region up. We just need a little bit of class steel here. 
pillage that. Yeah, but it's a lot of technology stuff, which is fun. And like you can file patents on things to make people pay for them, which is hilarious. Uh, doesn't look like, oh, energy efficiency. You can put a patent down on that. Screw it, let's do it, let's see. Because people might get that, especially the Carino for their chips, although I, I heard they got nerfed, so maybe it's not quite as scary as it once was. Uh, can we get this? It's 129 for that. Yeah, it's still a little ways off. Assassination is also very much on the table. Um, data center. It's a fair amount of Intel production. Let's do that. The only problem with these like little isolated bases, I can't really get them with the maintenance centers. Yeah, hopefully the militia will hold there. And I can also research tech without the prerequisites. I feel like my economy is never going to be that good with these guys. I could be wrong. Let's go raid that. Let me come down here and grab this for that siege, but I, I'd have to build just like individual maintenance centers and all those. Uh, as far as this goes, connect neural nodes. So can somebody explain how this works with this this uh, this S vault? If I were to build the blue tech here, I would get the tier three of the political forums. So I could technically get that twice, right? This is how that would work. I don't know. Yeah, it seems, it seems a little tricksy hobbitses for me. Lay of the land. Sure, let's get some knowledge here. We're already at 35, which is great. He says, dang, patents. <laughs> the paywall is real. Look, look, they're talking about the patents. And also you have rally points now too, so you can set up, oh shit, I need to go up there, okay. I didn't think my militia would lose that. Did somebody else pay a patent? I hope so. You gotta pay the troll toll, dude. Okay, so we're heading up north. Uh, Whatever, yeah, if, you, if, you, if you've tried it, because I haven't really played much with it, so any explanations would be greatly appreciated. I'm new to the game and on top of the new patch coming out, hard people. I like the changes so far, but it's it's pretty limited in terms of what I've explored, so I, I don't have too much intel to give you. No, you get tier one blue and keep the tier two bonus. Oh, okay, got it, got it, okay. Got it, and I think I want the tier three though. I want the 10% production, which is pretty good, so I think we'll just finish this region off. And um, Landsrad Sanding on Council Opening. This will probably be good because of the treaties thing. And I almost lost that region. Having at least one treaty connected with another faction grants a production bonus of 10% in its associated resources. That's pretty good. So we'll get the embassy there. I'm rolling his chat GPT basically, yeah. That's kind of kind of in the family of what it is. Um, all right, so probably an airfield down here would be good. A little bit of Plascrete would be, yeah, we gained Plascrete to Solari there anyways. I'm really far away from people, which is good. So I don't have to be as as cautious. We have our listening post here. Let's get our heavies back. This damn storm is trolling us pretty good. We're pretty close to getting our mothership already too, which is great. So Lay of the Land puts us up to 38. Um, should have done Village Hubs a long time ago, but we got our patents on things. Is there anything else we could patent? If anybody else wants to go political, we're gonna make them pay for it. <laughs> we just have all our troll ass patents on everything. Oh man, that's so fun. Should probably get like some good units though, you know? All right, so let's go ahead and get you the, yeah, probably just the, the free armor for now and then we'll figure it out. 20% damage against non-mechanical units, which is gonna be mostly everybody. So let's get that, yeah. And then we can pillage on the way down. The mothership seems good. I didn't use it correctly last game. I didn't even use it. I, I screwed up. So this game, hopefully I'll get a chance to showcase how it's done properly. Trial by fire, baby. All right, so we've got another agent. He's looking mighty, mighty uh, fly there. Uh, we can do infiltration cells and we can do infiltration cells. So let's just get infiltration cells on everybody for now. We'll get you on lands, Rad. And let's pillage that. Pay my patents, peasants. Economy developments are slowed. We're gonna get some, um, cause this technology, the physical wiring means I can have like free cells all over this guy's base if I wanted to. That's gonna be free in four days. So that's what we take next. Outstanding. Uh, this actually though looks pretty good. Although that's not going anywhere. We can get a, a harvester to come work this too down there, that neutral spice field. So that's gonna be fun. Local hubs, we'll finish. And I mean, I could definitely try and run someone over. Um, geothermal condenser is not really useful for us. Let's get the physical wiring. So we'll do stealth gear and physical wiring, yeah. So infiltration cells neighboring a region connected to a nodal network don't count towards the limit. So I could do several infiltration cells here and it wouldn't, um, it wouldn't 
matter, right? So I can get one there and then let's set up another one too because I just have so much intel. Yeah, and with my counselor here, I can switch buildings in my main base easily because it's a free, you get a full refund. So that's pretty rad. All right, so hmm. that's, that's cool. Uh, water, we don't care too much about that at the moment. We probably want to get the command post. That one's just always pretty good. Because it's more like the drones, we don't need a lot of manpower with this faction, that's for sure. You're going to come down and work the spice field here. Let's spend some cells. I need to get some of the like special buildings. I have that, but I need the research hub too. All right, so command post is coming up. And once I get a little bit more plasteel, I should be able to do more. I can take that base in a second, too. Yeah, oh, look at that. Carino paid my troll toll. Yes, pay it. Pay the troll toll. <laughs> People probably don't like that. They're probably, like, kind of annoyed by that. Like, oh, I have to pay that pay that shit again. Just like real life, you know. Nobody wants to pay, pay taxes to the man. All right, so we got our ship down here. So that's cool. I got a spice harvester working those fields down there. And um, this... Should be fine. Let's go capture that now. So we have 658 votes. I should have been trying to force the the charters through. Yeah, I should have been doing that. I could take the upkeep, but honestly, I'm just going to save my votes and try and win this with free votes. Uh, Harkonnens, we're going to go ahead and put a infiltration cell on them down here. And for you, um, yeah, let's just take 100 free votes on that. It's fine. Eh, I do like 150. All right. Oh, Javier Bar Bardem is such... Like, he's he steals the show in the Dune movie. Him and Fade Routha. I thought Fade Routha was really cool. I thought... I actually liked him, his character depiction, more than I liked him in the books. Isn't harvesting because there isn't an actual node there? Are you sure? Sure kind of looks like it's harvesting to me. When tethered can be deployed on a spice field to harvest spice. So, let's see. Okay, so he's not harvesting right now. Oh, so I need to... Wait, but what about the deep desert? Got it. Okay, I'm understanding how that works now. If that's the case. So I just need a, a region nearby. They put gear eggs on me, which is pretty troll. Um, so the deep desert wouldn't count as that. Okay, that's what I was hoping. All right, so let's peace out of here. And um, I would need to get this region. Okay, so if I got that region, then that would do the trick. Got it. Okay. So we're at 10k now, so we can obfuscate something. We could buy chome, but chome prices are pretty steep at the moment. We're going to just do more uh, of these. We could go for an early assassination, too. Here to serve. All right, so we got you guys. Let's get some drones and a resonance drone and a fight engineer. We can get a hero now, too. I think I prefer the ranged hero just because she provides a lot. Requires parallel training or military academy. Don't I have both of those? Um, we'll check that in a second. Oh, I need to just get rid of one of the slots here, maybe. Well, anyways. We'll come down. And, um... Hidden backdoor. Enemy mechanical units cannot be controlled and attack their allies. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Alright, hopefully my guys will survive. My water's pretty low. We are researching this. So I'm going to take this region next to... How much is it? 146? Yeah, we should be fine. All right, can we get a node, node network going here? Oh, there's a damn storm running through it right now. So I can control their machines or like cause their machines to rampage basically, which is really funny. Uh, I don't know if my, like the, the basic guys will make it there, but we're just gonna see what happens. Yep, that's like an auto take for these guys. Mechanical unit recruit time, like it just seems stupid not to take it. So we're gonna grab that. Nothing there. Uh. So yeah, our, our our chaff units are gonna die there, but that's fine. My brain at your service. All right, guys, we seem to be in okay shape. I think an assassination attempt would be really cool. And let's grab this region, because then we can mine this region because it's neighboring, it's gonna be neighboring a tethered region, right? And this can be tethered too. Let's do a little bit of this. And we wanna get, yeah, we got the spacing guild and now we can get the mothership. The folder relay, which apparently is very good. And then we can get, I'm going to try her again. Uh, what does he do? Yeah, one gear slot for a single unit. 
inside Vernius territory flanker gains 30% speed. Okay. I think due to the lag, I'm just going to take her just because she'd be a little bit easier to manage. So we have a hero now. There's heroes in the game. See? She's like a ranged mechanic kind of engineer support type. So let's get the neural node here and just uh, go grab some stuff. Okay, is this, is this going to be a problem here? Looks like it could be. All right, let's fly out there. Oh, wow, they're fighting over here. These guys are fighting. I should probably get a bigger army. Uh, all right, let's do some rail guns. Yes, please. People are paying my taxes, I think. We're negative on the fuel cells right now, which is not good. So we need to get that um, fixed up if we can. Why can I not build this? Oh, we're out of water too. Lovely. So let's get some water down here. That should fix that problem. No problem. So yeah, look at that. It's all connected in the deep desert. That's really fun. I can fix anything. And now we have you who should be harvesting now. See, yeah, now he's harvesting because of this neighboring region being connected, which is fun. Yeah, I don't know who the next faction could be, honestly. I'm just getting into the Dune universe a bit myself, so. Um, yeah, they're fighting, which is good that I'm not kind of involved in that. We have, uh, yeah, not enough agents on that. So we'll take you off and we're going to go ahead and put you here. Okay. That should be fine. And back here. So that's information. We want to stay deep on lands, Rad. And now we got two on that. All right. Our Intel production is pretty nuts because of the machines. Yeah, and we should we should be okay on the water department here in a second once that building finishes down here. I wish I could rush it, but there's nothing this faction has that does that. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of like it's like playing Byzantines a little bit. Correct. Yeah, it kind of feels that way. So the rally point can be right here. So the units that spawn will will hang out here. Water's really low. Oh god, hopefully we don't lose our hero to the water thing. That'd be really bad. We need to go through our whole empire and just fine tune the water. Okay, fuel cells. Um, we got water here. We have water here. Not very profitable in this region. We may need to do a dew collector, as haggard as that is. Do we have the chone branch? We have the chone branch, so dew collector's probably fine to sauce out there. And um, is there anything we want to file a patent on? We're a little bit too poor now, so that, that time has passed. The power of the patent. So let's just max out our military and just get ready to karate chop and get all the mechanical health upgrades because our whole army's like mechanical, basically. All right, so we got a little bit of H2O down here, and um, let's get this. And we need to get maintenance centers in these random ass bases we have around the map. My brain as far as perfect. politics go, let's try and get the um, Eye of the Council. So I'm gonna like push that forward a little bit and try and push it to vote. Heavy fighting in the middle, by the way. The Poe Salesman, he's a good player. He's, I played with him before, he's quite solid. What is your strategy? Fold and relay moving. So I can teleport all my units to one region. That's really cool. So the mothership allows me to teleport everybody to one spot. And in the armory, the railgun, um, let's go damage against flying units, plus two power while tethered, and let's give it the long range firepower too. For you, lowering nearby armor and giving power to nearby units. And for this, the repair station armor and damage against flying units is probably fine. Although sensing stealth units at long range too is pretty good. So we'll do that. All right, guys, it's all coming together. We're a live team. We're alive. And now we can respond instantly to like any threat, which is really cool. I still think we probably need an airfield up here. So let's slap down that airfield here. Uh huh. And let's see what's up for vote. Okay, I have the council. I should win this pretty easily. I have 900 votes. So you can see that Vernius can go pretty bananas with those living machines. Um,. What do I need to beat? 559? Okay, so Vernius is going to win this. This is a really good one. Getting two extra agents is going to be very nice for my assassination efforts. So what do they have? 559. So we just go a little bit, a little bit like in there. 750 should do it. Um, unless minor houses come in. So let's go up to 800 and see if we win that. I don't want to spend everything. Uh, I got it. Save your goodies. The Harkonnen was like trying to buddy buddy up with me there, which I respect. So yeah, let's get you here. And then we can do you on the Spacing Guild for a little bit of manpower. Yeah, all right. We got two of those guys, two of those machines generating chome. And did somebody pay my patent? Oh yes, they paid the energy efficiency. Yes, pay the patents, peasants. <laughs> pay them. Get some more fighting mechs in the front and then some resonance drones too. 
I love that we have this like fully mechanical army. I think that's so such fun flavor. Um, do we want more plasteel? We probably could use a little bit more plasteel, although a spice silo here would be good. The drones are harvesting away. And um, let's continue pillaging, I guess. Do we have an airfield here? We don't, but we could teleport everybody there as well. So let's take down these nearby bases. Ix is my new main. Yeah, they, it's, there's a lot to learn with them. There's a lot, but I'm, I'm starting to get the hang of it. All right. Can I put like a thinking machine with the Fremen there? Have that be like my support there. All right, so we got that, we got that. Now we need to get the... Okay, let's not wander out into the desert, shall we? Oh, I didn't finish pillaging it, lovely, okay. So come back here. I got this big scary electronic army moving around. I do want to get the... Yeah, the physical wiring, yeah, that's pretty good. And then as far as this goes, we got level two on them. So I don't know why you didn't get dropped there. Do I need more infiltration cells? Probably. Oh, interesting. Can I do two at a time? I don't think so. All right. We're good. We're figuring it out. And uh, when somebody goes to war with me, I will get a lot of influence. So next up, what do we want to try and win? Speaker of the Council would be a good one. Let's see. I got 436. Atreides, I'll probably catch them before the next lands rad. So we're going to try and get Eye of the Council. My brain at your service. All right. So we got 151 influence. Um, the Empire's looking okay. My main base is almost fully developed, so I just need to get some more military here. Probably like, uh, probably this one. No, I already have that. So, manpower, we don't really care about too much, because we're basically just spending money. So, definitely the command post, I think. And we have command posts, we have that. So, parallel training slot, meh. Barracks is good too, though. 10% health. And it's only health, though. It's not damage anymore. Alright, so let's grab some of the homies and go scavenging. Yes. Yes, yes. Grab all the free things in the desert, my minions. Go. And we can go and grab uh, this, 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 and then this and this. So basically, I'm just going to scavenge like whatever's on the desert, which is something with Vernius you need to be, you need to be doing uh, stuff like that. It's very easy to kind of overlook that. All right. So in the main base, we can do that. So uh, health to units isn't bad. Manpower... Trading Academy is pretty clutch. This one does give us um, fuel cells. Connected neural nodes produce one fuel cell. Yeah, I think we need that. All right, so our land shad standing is, is decent. We have infiltration cells. Um, where do we have them? We have one here. Uh, let's do that here. And that should give us... Oh, our agents are getting captured is what it is. Okay, so he's eyeing them. Yeah, that's slowing us, slowing us down a little bit there. And then we can go ahead and go back here and see if we can take you off. I can put you back on them. We're going to try and get this off because I feel like it could be pretty fun to try. Or we could just go to war with them too. Because I'm not really like under threat from a lot of people. Hmm. So do we maybe switch on to the Harkonnens a little bit and try like a long range assassination of the Harkonnens? I don't know how I feel about that. Okay. Factions. Uh, let's get you spying here. So we'd have a lot of intel. Ready, my lord. And we got our gremlins out there collecting. Um, fight engineers, we probably don't need too many. Residents, residents, and uh, yeah. We'll go to war after this. I think it's time for a little bit of fighting. Oh, look at all the free stuff I'm getting. Just all the free resources. Can we take a Carino army? Maybe. Um, EMP bomb would wreck us pretty bad. If they have EMP bombs, I probably just lose fights, right? Administrative burden is pretty punishing, but I think we hang tight on that. I'm just kind of going for a political victory right now, as it currently stands. Um, Where are the drones? All right. Where are the drones? I can fix anything. All right. Slide there. We got the training slots coming. Creepy sci-fi music playing, which is great. We're at 229 uh, as far as the authority goes. Could capture some stuff. Kill the evil Baron. The Emperor is just such a juicy target, though. And he's next to me, so if I kill the Baron, then I just get, like, control of everything myself. All right, let's do a little bit of pillaging here. My brain at your service. All right, so let's pillage that, and then you get this, buddy. New challenge awaits. Masich is now friendly, so I can put an agent in there. I cannot put the computer agents? I can't. Okay. 
So once we get another agent here in a minute, we'll we'll put someone in there. Yeah, let's pillage that. I wonder if people are. I wonder how much I've made in profit on my patents. You know, like it kind of seems like I guess you can make a thousand gold if you if you do it correctly. All right, let's see you guys go grab these. Got to keep tabs on all the goodies we're getting here. Military base for sure is going to be a good idea. For looking to get crunk, and we have 19 water, so we could build a special building. What would we want to build? Um, a research center is pretty good because our our faction gets efficiency from research. Uh, not efficiency, but each knowledge point increases the production of all resources by 0.01, right? So you can get quite a bit of uh, extra there. Yeah, <laughs> they're really getting through all these things on the map, aren't they? And reveal us each. And our agents, how far have they gone in here? Uh, we're getting there. It's it's not easy. So he has Gaius Mohaim, and he has uh, Princess Irulan. Okay. Looking at his resources, pretty fun. I like that I can creep on all those. Anything I want here? Not really. The Atreides have me beat on votes right now at this point, so. <laughs> Probably just like make the Chome prices more expensive. I don't think this faction is good at all at playing Chome. Could be wrong though. Uh, the elected faction suffers that. So let's put it on Carino since they're the only one buying Chome and see if that works. The fighting mechs are ready. Uh, all the armory stuff is free, which is cool. You can really customize units quite a bit now. Quite a bit. So I'm just gonna get one manpower building here and then we'll get a maintenance center as the last, last building there. Yeah, you can make a little bit of profit. All right, so other technologies. So yeah, that's kind of fun. So we'll do that. Yes, and yes. We need to get somebody in that siege though before we um, before we fight. So let's take you out of the lands rad and then put you in the siege here, which is gonna give us 10% um, military unit health. I can fix anything. It's pretty great. The army can rely on us. Do drones need my support? All right, team. I think we just go and attack homeboy here. Uh, going for a run at the Atreides. Do it. Yes. Do you need to I like how he's keeping me in the loop. The Baron, the Baron has, he respects. Okay. I think it's, it's go time, guys. We're going to get the, the legions gathering in the north. I'm kind of poor, so I, I feel like I need a wartime economy here a little bit to help us out. Yeah, you're also slowing down the other players with the patents, correct? So it's not all about that. Um, man, I wish we had more fuel cells here. Oh, I wish we had more fuel cells. Uh, what do we get? Intel has one building of each type. Okay. Let's get that. Uh, we're going to get a little manpower, just a little bit. Just kind of tickle the pickle. And now it's time for the War of the Worlds, dude. Okay, let me hotkey everything. Two, and then three. Okay. Here we go. So... Ally agent captured. I think we need to just kill them. So we got parts production. Let's get siege incentives. Wow, we just got a ton of mechanical health too from that. I kind of don't like spying on them yet because the Emperor is really good at um, snooping. So we're going to just put you up here and just get you on information. Let's get you back on lands, Rad. We'll, we'll liberate our agents now. All right, buddy. I'm sorry. It has to be this way. I know, I know we were friends for a long time, but, um, -like efficiency. and then these guys should be in three. I will make it. Okay. Find the best so we're going to just try and creep up on him here. Ooh, that army does not look good. He must be caught, caught up in a bunch of fights. Okay. Let's get our siege drones back. Here he comes. Hopefully he doesn't have an EMP bomb. Okay. So we're back. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no. Okay, let's fight here. We're going to do this to make sure we got our goodies. We could actually maybe... Yeah, so that will guarantee it. So we'll do that. And then I think this gives us a temporary boost in knowledge. Ooh, ooh, that Korean army's getting it pretty good. Ouch. All right, let's just chase him down. <laughs> Go, my War of the Worlds mechs. Rise. Oh, he emp bomb, but it was too late. All right, so we're gonna chase down his army here. So let's chase, chase, and chase. You guys can work on the Imperial base here. 
Uh, all right, so we might want to get back and heal, although that's right, she is going to provide healing. So let's go ahead and do the healing field here. Oh, so all my mechs are healing. Oh my god, this is brutal. Wow, look how quick my shit healed with that aura thing she has. That's crazy. All right, administrative burden would be brutal if I had had it prepared, but sadly I don't. Um, let's go ahead and, yeah, do the remote tethering. Oh, is she getting sniped somehow? Oh, supplies. Duh. The gravy train is over. I was so used to um, everybody not needing supplies that I got spoiled there. All right, so we're on the main base, but he's probably got two, right? Wow, that was that was really nasty, though. This main, the mothership's getting beat up, so we're going to want to retreat with that. And let the army start taking the beating here. Yeah, so I was like, oh, man. So how do I get heroes back? I've never lost a hero. I. It is rough indeed. I mean, I could go for the main base kill here, but I think we just take some territory maybe. Hero died. Okay, I, I, I guess she'll just respawn after time. I'm not sure. Let's run back and not lose my army to some stupid stuff. So check this out. I'm folding my whole army in. Let's go. Does it? Oh, so it only brings... It has to be there. I thought it would just teleport my army anywhere on the map. Okay, so it doesn't quite work like that. It, it needs to be with the army. Okay, that makes more sense. Um, all right, let's get fight engineers. Your mothership tethers units around it. Yeah, so that's, that's pretty nice. So I don't need to worry about that either. Cool. Unassigned agent. Let's get you on the spacing guild. We definitely did some big damage. He's definitely struggling on a couple fronts there. Uh, we could come down and take this spice field, which I think is going to be good. Okay. I, I understand how the, the warp technology works now. So it costs 1k to buy her back. Man, my income sucks. Infiltration cell removed. Infiltration cell removed. So we got the friendly siege. Let's take a little bit of a freebie here. These things, I believe, cost upkeep, right? Engines on. We can just have them on auto explore. And auto explore. Cool. Right. Gola costs like 30 lands, right, as well? Yeah. That's tricky. So I got to be more cautious with my heroes, that's for sure. Uh, could take this region. I don't necessarily have to even kill him at this point. He's he's already hurting bad. I'm just gonna leave him leave him going. You never know. And uh, let's obfuscate. So what are we playing against? Baron and Atreides. So we want to obfuscate a technology. So let's do valuable trinkets. Yeah. So that's gonna make it so they can't use the valuable trinkets now. I think. I don't know if that went off, but we'll have to double check that. Uh, we expand in the south, take the worm's nests. We're at 14.5. Atreides are at 15. Yeah, these are the tech bros of the Dune universe, basically, yes. You nailed it. All right, so let's get this. Get a maintenance center here. That'll save us a little bit of money. I, I can't really afford to lose my robo-army. Unfortunately, my hero's gone for a while. We'll get her, we'll get her back eventually. Let's grab both of those. My brain at your service. I think we hold this. I think we hold it. Siege incentives is on the way. Yeah, man. If, if I had remembered about supply drops, we probably could have killed someone there. Could have taken them out. Um, scavenger teams are always really good. Technology over strength. Technology over strength is what she says. Okay. We'll see how it goes this game. Need to be researched to obfuscate. Yeah, it sounds like, sounds like that's the case. So we can get valuable trinkets next, and um, and then we'll block it from everybody. Advanced engineering. I should have gotten that a long time ago, probably. Water sellers union. Can I crush it here? 900 against 817. Yeah. I'm just gonna take it because I don't want anybody else to have it. So we're gonna we're gonna roll hard for that. And then um, we will get the this, and um, we can go ahead and get like yeah, just all these kind of checks here. It's all look pretty good to me. Water Cellars Union, not going to be great. We don't have a lot of, like, watery territory. That's for sure. And the mothership can fold again pretty soon, in two days. I love the sound sound effects for this faction. It's very cool. Watching this and trying to get my girlfriend in, into it. After. Yeah, Barker, it's, it's a pretty, it's a really fun game, man. It's it's a little complex, but once you get past that initial hurdle of, like, the fundamentals, it's uh, it's really not too bad. 
All right, so we got water down there. Um, we have an airfield. Now we do, so we should be able to fly down there soon. We got 400. Ready, my lord. Man, these raids are pretty consistent. Consistently troll. And um, we need an airfield there, too. New challenge awaits. Did I ever get the dew collectors? I did. I guess it just wasn't enough to, to fix all the water issues. I can fix anything. There are anomalies to fix. There are anomalies to fix. All right, let's run over there. Yeah, I know I can revive the hero. Yeah, it cost, land, it cost me 30 lands rad, though. It's pretty painful. Ah, eh, let's just do it. Screw it. God damn, 30 lands rad for her is rough. That's a lot. <laughs> that is a lot. Oh, we got a worm call over here. Oh, the worms just ate my two uh, my two healers. Nice. Gotta love it. All right, let's get these fight engineers in. All right, so that should be taken care of. Let's get you guys back a little bit. Let the fight mechs do it. They will not feel a thing. We're lowering their armor, looks like. Cool. You can count on us, my lord. Yeah, so he's pretty much crippled. The Atreides are my biggest threat across the map. I will send this guy... A non-aggression when I make a little bit of money. Wow, why, why am I taking so much damage here? Jeez. Some, something's going on. It takes a long time to resurrect that hero, so I gotta be uber careful with that hero. I certainly haven't been. Okay, so it's probably a spice silo here would be a good call. And then we can, uh, we can mess around from there. Yeah, basically, yeah, revive dead people. Yeah, yeah. If you guys, once you get further into the Dune story, you know, some of this stuff will make a, a little bit more sense there. Yeah, so we need to go grab that southern territory if we can. This is where, like, not having that healer character is rough. So let's get here and heal up with our um, character because we do have the fight engineer. I believe we do. Repair station? Where are you on the map even? Oh, she's over there. Okay. Sure, my lord. All right, so cost money to heal the drones, so I just lost a bit of money, but it's okay. Uh, up top, yep, we just go south and power expand. Atreides are pushing it pretty hard. I have Water Sellers Union, and um, they're currently sitting on 558 votes, though, so they're creeping up on me a little bit. I can fix anything. All right, I can fix anything. Let's go down here. The army can rely on us. We can bring you back. The vaults are all built up. Did you guys see the trailer for the new, um, the new, uh, what's it called? Fallout show, yeah. Anna knew from the other room. She's like, I know what you're talking about. Ready, my lord. All right, let's go grab the spice field. And um, do we want to get this? We don't really need it. Just a little bit of money to be Shall taken. We got supply drops and um, defense breaches probably is going to be good to have in a pinch. Anything. All right, so cleave those guys. What do we have laying around here? Scavenger ornithopters. Looks like they're just sitting around. Uh, can you assign them to the Ixian harvesters? Oh, you can. Shit. Okay, I didn't think you could because they were like flying, but it looks like you can. Uh, who got you? Looks like Bloodbath and Beyond is going to fall here. He's in danger. The Baron Chungus is... is uh... The Atreides player is going pretty hard, it looks like. Yeah, he's, he's expanding quite powerfully. The last alliance must be formed. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to send a peace agreement to Homeboy again. Let's see if he'll take it. Uh, Non-aggression, sure, why not? And it, the cool part is, if I break it later on, then I can, um, I can what's it called? I can then get influence because of my counselor, this guy. Yeah, so he took it. I think the, the Carino player's out of the game. He's just so beat up. I mean, there's always a chance you can come back. I always think you should fight, but he's looking pretty damaged. My brain at your service. All right. So yeah, we can attach those to those. For some reason, I thought it wasn't possible. I was wrong. All right. So I need to help out against these guys. I don't know about a, map, a cross map war though. I'm kind of happy to just like submarine. Assigning them to the harvesters does nothing, got it. All right, so our agents are escaping uh, captivity here. Uh, let's get you guys here. Looks fine. Yes, good escape. So we got we got our our, our character back. A goal of hero. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. So let me test this out. So everybody here 
should get teleported, right? If I try this. So if we do this, we go back home. Oh, that's so cool. That's really cool, that teleportation. Okay, Riches of Arrakis is going. All those goodies. Uh, airfield down here, obviously, is going to be pretty big. Although water probably is going to be one of the most urgent resources we have right now. The middle is on the table to take. We don't have a missile turret there. Uh, what do I need in this army? Probably more rail gun drones. I don't have a lot of ranged, actually, so our DPS kind of sucks. All right. So out here and take care of this real quick. The Carino is on its way back. The thing is, they're keeping the Atreides player honest. You know, I think I feel like the Atreides is gonna. He's got 28k. Holy shit! Is he buying Chome? He's very rich. Usually Atreides aren't that rich. I could go try and fight him. I don't know how it would go. Engineer Senva reporting. On okay, so way. she's back online. Good place for the plan. Cerberus only costs manpower, so throw your forces mindlessly at the enemy under. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty good. So if we expand here, that gives us a border base with the Atreides with which we can launch invasions. So I think we do that. Uh, Speaker of the Council is really good. Oh, man, of course, I don't have enough votes. Vote me, lads, if you don't want Atreides to have Speaker. Krob's best bet. Hopefully they see that. So, yeah, the Atreides have me beat. Uh, if he gets that, we need to 3v1. All right, so it's time to fight the Atreides. I don't think there's any more games because they're, they're getting a little bit dangerous. I don't know how I can take them, but we're going to try. Uh, if the other players vote me for that, maybe. I don't know if they can see my text, though. What? Wow, he didn't even try for himself there. Sneaky, sneaky. I think the Atreides player has been bullying both of them. So this is this is like a good good situation for me, right? He hasn't been making friends. Okay, the neural network is going. Let's grab this. Let's uh, grab this too. Grab all these freebies. I got 4K. Water is so tight right now, though. And uh, we're going to roll over here with our big mech legion and try... Do you need to teleport someone? That sounds fun. All right, so what do we want to get down here? We could just get a little bit more knowledge, although a maintenance center might be good just to kind of cheapen things out a little bit. And uh, yeah, let's just keep rolling. Really out there being the emperor. I know it's true. I need to make sure to do those heals in combat. So we're going to connect to his his, his base and, uh, and see if we can make something happen here. Assassinating the Atreides would be very flavorful. Uh, currently, we have a non-aggression with him, so we do have that, which gives us time to like set up without having to be stressed. I'm at 17k, he's at 16, so he's submarining behind me, so I need to beat beat him down while I can. No, nope, get on there. Oh. The supplies are getting very dodgy here. Alright, so that looks fine. Are we developed here? Fully developed? Not quite. Whatever, three waters better than nothing. Might as well take that. We got 46 knowledge right now. And let's do this and get an airfield over here. Do we need the neural node here? Yeah, not a bad idea. Why not? It, it will give us the tethered buff, right? Okay. So where is he? Where's the, the wheat noodles? Here he is. Want to attack Atreides sometime? I could coordinate like a 3v1 against him. I'm going to see if he'll go for it. I'm going to see if he'll go for it. I'll, I'll take the brunt of it, of course. Uh, okay, I'm going to hit a trades soon. We'll take brunt of it. I'm giving him a heads up. Because I'm pretty... The Harkonnens can't really get to me easily, and I don't think Carino could do much. So I, I think that this is the way. Riches of Arrakis will give us a little bit of money. We do have a lot of special regions, so it's uh, it's going to be quite good, I would say. Is this last Greek factory limit and economy building production? That's pretty good. Um, listening post here. Unfortunately, it's not touching tips. So we could get the factory. Now, the experimental factory seems a little bit haggard here. Let's just get that. Eh, let's get a knowledge building. Screw it. Knowledge is power with these guys, you know. 
So we could obfuscate some tech now. Um, valuable trinkets would probably be a good idea. I don't have that much on geothermal condensers. So let's do that, and then we can do valuable trinkets next, and then we can obfuscate that. Oh, take the money. Where are the drones? And um, yeah, I don't know how this fight goes with the old Atreides. I really have no idea. If they have an EMP bomb, like I just get wrecked, right? Let's uh, let's try it. Greetings. It's getting kind of late game, and I'm getting close to 20k, so I need to rally an alliance before you know I become the arch villain. It's so, it feels so alien having a hero. Okay, so he just Lady Jessica'd me. So what we do is we wait, how many days? Uh, we wait nine days, wow, that's a long time. Since I'm going for a political victory, uh, I need to, yeah, that costs him influence though, so that's good, it keeps him honest. And I should be passing him votes wise soon, so. The thing is, if I get elected governor now, I have a pretty decent chance of cackling. Just because the other players are very damaged, right? Where are the drones? All right, so he Lady Jessica'd me. I can teleport anywhere on the map right now with that cool stuff. Um, And yeah, got our neural networks running rampant. Life's good. Uh, we can take some authority here. Do we want it? Who's buying Chome? Chome's at 18% here. So nothing too wild. Sieges have been detected. The dreaded Lady Jessica got me. Okay. So got to put some poison into the ears of all. Uh, monitoring station wouldn't be bad. I could see some sneaky sneaky, so let's throw that down there. And that place is coming together. We can attack him again in, like pretty soon. In what, six days? Yeah, okay. Six days we go again. Someone has a nuke? Oh, for sure. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if I got just randomly nuked. It, 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 I would hold nothing against that person. That would just be glorious. Uh, we need manpower, not really, so let's just get the random eco buildings. We're at 18k. Atreides do a passive, though. How, where is he getting passive hedge from? Yeah, okay, he already has craft workshops and stuff. So we need to get that um, geothermal condensers. Yeah, let's cancel that, and then we need to get the valuable trinkets. Yeah. How long is it going to take us to get this one? It's going to be 20 days, man. Even with that much knowledge? That's insane. He could spam Lady Jessica me, but there will be a little cooldown of that time in which he can do it. The rail guns are going to be lurking in the back. Um, this nation up here is looking good. We have some extra building slots. What traits do we have here? Yeah, cheaper, cheaper buildings. That's pretty much it. Looks like we're already maintenance centered, so let's get another knowledge building there. I can fix anything. The Atreides gather. They gather and prepare. Their army looks pretty good. He's got, what, rangers with the sniper rifles? Long rifles, yeah. Wardens with the parrying arm guards. Ooh, I don't know if we could beat him on his own turf. That's, like, pretty hard. At least we're threatening him, though. He's getting a little nervous, I'm sure. I, I need to not take any territories right now. Like, none. He'd probably vote me governor, actually, just to troll me and turn the entire tide of the lobby against me. But if I get governor, can I survive? Probably. Probably so. Okay, let's get an airfield here. And then we want the rally point to be out here. You do it right here for now. Cool. The new rally point thing is so good. Yeah, so I'm going to try. So you did not know that creating gold is lowers your faction standing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it sure does. No, not diplomatic congress. Uh, okay. Let's abstract the hell out of that. Yeah, he's not getting a free a free peace treaty. This one, um, I mean, I don't think he can get to my main base that easily, so I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Just hold the army there and let the allies feast. We'll see if the allies, what they want to do. Governorship is, is creeping, but so is Hedge. Um, I need to obfuscate the valuable trinkets. I could also obfuscate siege incentives, so when people attack me, they can't get the bonus on my base. I mean, this will probably get voted on me, but we're just going to vote this on Atreides with like 100 votes or something. We have 200 free votes. <laughs> oh, bro, he's so dead. Oh, look at the, the Atreides are trying to... Uh... <laughs> he's so dead. The Atreides player is trying to just trash the... Uh... 
He's trying to trash the uh, the poor Carino player who's like just like been on death's bed the whole game. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That's so funny. That's so villainous, you know. Who would have thought the Atreides would be the villains in this story? So I'm at full lands shad standing. Um, could I win governor? I have 700 votes. Harkonnens, look at the votes on these two. They have like no votes. Oh, man. I feel like I should definitely support governor and try and get that and just go for it at this point. Like bait the Atreides into some conflict. Um, all right. So we're going to end this truce. And now, oh, right as he leaves. That's pretty funny. That was really unfortunate timing for him. I literally did that right as he left. Do you need to teleport someone? Okay, so let's get you guys back. Start blasting these Atreides militia. Uh, we can go ahead and do the repair station here. That'll start healing up all the drones that are damaged. God, Atreides militia are so jacked, dude. I don't know why the hotkeys don't always work in this game. It's kind of weird. Okay, he's coming back now. Oh, the lag. No! Oh! God! Okay, whatever. We'll, we'll resurrect her. We just got, wor like, randomly wormed. It wasn't even, like, uh... Okay, so that's not good. We do kill some militia, though, at least. So that's a start. Let's get fight engineers, resonance drones, and, uh, rail guns. Dude, that worm is just the most foul thing ever, dude. Of course it gets our lord, too. I don't know if we could even take him now. If he decides to, um... Yeah, we had to make a Gola there. <laughs> Dude, the worm is the yeah. I gotta figure out the lag thing in this game because I have a good computer. I don't know what what the issue is. All right, it's just I think just the game how it is. Uh, anything we want to do here? Listening post? Yeah, that'd be fine. So we got his whole army held up here, and um, we, the hero should be back soon. It's a shame. I mean, we don't need it so much. They're not like as crazy, but um, yeah, the railgun drones can shoot from really far. They have super far range. I don't know if the worm settings are on really high or something, but I've been getting wormed so hard today. Uh, Chom, I mean, it's just Karino buying Chom. We're gonna obfuscate the valuable trinkets anyways to slow everyone down who's trying to do that. I'm pretty sure it'll shut their shit down. I, I don't know how that works exactly. If they already have it researched. Dune is just laggy in general. I know it is. New challenge awaits. I can try fighting him here. I don't know how it's gonna go, but I wanna keep him, keep him honest. Um, how's he doing politically? Politically, he's rocking 532. I have 900 plus votes, and I have a bunch of the offices with rerolls. So let's like poke a little bit. So let's like get the army to chill right here. So we're gonna go like right up on the border, and then we're gonna get the rail guns and see how far they can reach. Can they reach from the border? Nah, it's not super effective. Yeah, so I'd have to blitz an Atreides in trench position, which is basically just asking to die. How's Atreides has started preparing a nuke? Oh, man. Okay, Atreides is looking to nuke, which is funny. Um, valuable trinkets will be going soon. I'm at 17. Atreides have passed me. Did I lose a random... Oh, shit. The space wreck got taken by you? Oh, okay. So my space wreck actually got taken by the AI. I wasn't paying attention, man. I feel like it should be giving a bigger notification, but it's all good. It's fine, because that puts me behind him on hedge, which is actually, in a way, a good thing. So, And I don't need the space wreck anymore. It takes my border away. Oh, my God. How come it's always the Harkonnen players crashing? Let's see. Uh, let's give him a minute to recon. Man, hopefully we don't have another game ruined by crashing player. Or did he leave? He said he's disconnected. Did he leave or? I'm not sure. Let's see if he's coming back. Yeah, the Lancerite hates my tech, that's for sure. I don't know if the Harkonnen player left. If he did, I'm more than happy to go down and make an agreement to just kill him because he'll cheat on Chome and start buying and it's really obnoxious. Uh, all right, so we'll give it a minute. So hopefully he can reconnect. Harkonnen is chonky, that's true. That's why most of them are... Uh, I'm not going to take advantage of any of these offers. Well, he's disconnected. Hopefully none of the other players will do that either. It's basically cheating. Yeah, I can dodge a nuke, but it probably... It would be hard to do. Yeah, I, I don't know if I would succeed in that. Um, Want to... 
take a moment to go kill Harkonnens together if he DC to prevent AI cheese. It's up to them. I mean, I could solo kill him, but then the Atreides are just going to attack me. So I'm trying to um, trying to get an alliance with the Atreides to kill him. If that ends up being the case, uh, let's see. It would be with Atreides' help. Yeah, I'm going to see if the Atreides are willing to do it. Didn't know they left. Yeah, we'll see if he if he uh, if he comes back. I don't know, like uh, how you would disconnect in this game. I guess they'll, maybe the lag got to him. Is internet usually we have like no disconnects whatsoever in our in our Discord. Um, looking here, is he seeing blood? I don't think he's in our Discord. I think he came from stream. Okay, okay, uh, let's get him. I don't think he's coming back, so let's just get him. Where are the drones? All right, so we're gonna head down there and take this bad boy down. Uh, we gotta, we gotta just take him out real quick. I can fix it. It's all good, man. This is part of it, you know. The Baron, the Baron has fled the scene. I mean, he was already pretty close to death. The cool part is I can teleport home after this too, which is gonna be fun. Sure. All right, technology, let's go. And there's gonna be just three of us. Let's decline that. No cheating. And uh, let's take down the Harkonnen army here. I know He's sending his Cerberus at me. I know what I'm doing. Uh, all good. All good in the neighborhood. Come on. So we're just going to run into the main base. He's basically already dead. I'm going to use defense breaches just to speed it along. And let's do a supply drop here too. And perfect. The cool part is I can just port home after this. All right, let's take these guys out, and we can do this and do a repair station. So the repair station is down. My entire army's healing now, which is cool. That's actually really good, man. That repair station, you can see the amount you heal is pretty nuts. And then um, we definitely just go for Gov after this. Okay, so that's one way to deal with it. And um, then we will port back and just do this. Okay, so he ported out. My brain at your service. The yeah, Atreides should be able to finish it off. I'm not going to backstab him, obviously. Okay, so the Harkonnens are gone, which is going to give the Atreides like big expansionist potential. Um, so we need to now figure this all out. So where do we go here? We have a couple agents. Let's go to factions. Let's assign them here and assign them here as well. Yes, go. Cool. So now we need to just get Governor, so let's support Governor for the next lands rad, and then we just cackle and defend and see how that goes. Obfuscate, we're gonna obfuscate this one. Yes, it's gonna cost 20 lands rad, that's fine. I think you only need 450 for Governor. Yeah, yeah, so we're fine. So we've obfuscated that technology, and now we just defend. Because we're gonna get Governor for sure. We blocked that, which I really like. Let's do these ones. Hey, Elephant! Is this closest to Protoss? Ooh, I don't know if I would say they're close to Protoss. They definitely have some similarities with the tech and stuff and all those, but um, yeah, they seem really good, man, in some ways. Late game, I like their armies. Early game, I don't know what to do with these guys. I feel like the other factions are more direct in, in their approaches. Um, the Harkonnens have just yielded a ton of land. All right, so I'm not going to win with land, that's for sure. Governorship is for sure what we do. Um, I could go for governor. Yeah, there's no way. I have a thousand votes. They couldn't stop me, I don't think, even together. So let's confirm. And let's get governorship. Let's go, baby. Let's get it. Come on. Let's get it. Give me the governorship. Give it to me. The, there's already nukes on the table, so I could just start getting chain nukes. Um, yeah, so I have water sellers unions. Give me a little bit of money. I have the council rerolls. So I'm just going to go all out on this and see what I can do. So, yeah, let's see if House Vernius can get it, man. We're going to get attacked by Karina, but thankfully we don't have a border with them anymore. So if they move, it's going to be harder. Um, and uh, hidden back door, enemies can't control mechanical units. <laughs> He's saying, oh no. Oh yeah. Uh, let's get a railgun and resonance trencher. Why not? 
Oh, yeah, baby. Ready, my lord. Now I just need to hold for... Oh, I have an non-aggression with both of them, too? Sure, my lord. Holy shit, that's funny. Okay, so I need to just chill here and prepare for the Atreides to attack. We could get swarmed, though, on two fronts here, which I don't like. So let's just hang back a little bit. Okay, guys, we got governorship. So we just need to hold for 29 days because I can reroll loss of rights. So that's pretty damn powerful. I, um, I don't know where they're going to come from, though. The old family atomics, I know they're coming. I'm going to get nuked 100%. Dodging it seems a little bit too hard to do. I, know where to go. I have the character back now, so she's, she's here and ready to party with the boys. Uh, I could buy my way up to 10% Chome to try and get the, um, I'm very rich right now too, to try and get mercenaries. Uh, would I be able to get to 10% easily? I don't think so. I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah, the fact that the Harkonnens are gone too, I mean, he was on death's bed. So if I were truly going for governor before, I probably would have just gone down, killed the Harkonnens since their base was at half health, and then I would have just done this exact same thing. So it probably didn't change much in the outcome of things. In the grand old scheme, let's go grab this base. Let's just grab a couple random bases. I still have non-aggro packs with both of them, so I wonder when they're going to be striking. It's got to be soon. Well, we see a military force coming that way. It's probably going to get some work done. I'm ready. I don't have any air force, which would be nice. Drones will make it. The drones will make it. On my way. Uh, you know what? Let's just pillage that. We don't. We don't even need need it really. Sure, my lord. Then, yeah, we're going to have to deal with these attacks. As fast as I can. If anything, I, I would take the hedge buildings, but right now it should be blocking there. Um, okay, spice tax is paid. 24 days on the governorship. I think we got to come north and, and grab that. Oh, I don't have an airfield up there. That sucks. Okay. I don't think anybody attacks down here, but man, these like random Fremen raids are pretty troll. Ixian technology cannot fail. All right. So we're going to move up here. The Atreides should be attacking here soon. They're taking way too long to attack, I think. Although I guess they're waiting for the governor or the non-aggression to wear off. Yeah, let's go get that. Don't want to lose more territories. Uh, can the militia win this fight? Probably not. We're going to have to hustle some dudes down there, most likely to deal with that. We can teleport our entire army anywhere with the Ixian mothership. All right, so we dealt with that raid. That should be fine. Let's head back down south. Get the Militia back online, and um, Atreides will probably just come from the west, obviously. 22 days on Governor. My brain uh, service. Yeah, the, lags, the lag got a little better with Arconans, yeah. Uh, assassination attempt? No, he's going for Hedge. Okay. Interesting. Um, he's expanding, obviously, into the Harkonnen lands. What is your it's just a pillage down here, which I, I don't want. I can stop that. That's pretty good. I could race him on hedge too if he wants to play that game. I can fix anything. All right, so let's hustle down here. Hopefully, our army doesn't get wormed. That would be the worst shit ever. Where's our ship? No land can resist Where is it right now? Oh, it's up there. All right, so we've arrived. They're going to get shut down there. The Trades are just trying to rush us with hedge, which is going to be very difficult to do. It's going to be very, very difficult. Yeah, probably a peaceful annex or something next to my main base. Yeah. That's what I was thinking too. And so I'm just gonna go up and decap all this stuff. Oh, the worm call. No, get on the base. Get on it. I'm glad he announces attack to everyone, not just the, not just homie there. Oh, this positioning is kind of unfortunate. Yeah, he's gonna come up and my army's like trapped down here. Never built an airfield. Didn't think I would need it down here, but alas. Shai Halud is not helping right now at all. Um, here comes a fat Karina army. So that's going to be an issue. And we'll take our mothership and warp up there. Should have just freaking entrenched these territories a little bit better. What is your strategy? All right, team. You can count on us, let's go. And let's see that. And then we can do this. Here we go. Oh, how cool is this? Look at that. Oh, the army just appears next to him. Oh, that's so rad. All right, let's see the scavenger teams. Yes. And uh, we're already connected, so he's trying to get to my, my rail guns in the back, which is smart. I don't know if really scooting and shooting is going to do anything here. But, um, yeah, probably not. So it's just like focus fire. That looks good. The fighting is going well. So let's get a couple more of you and you. And then some fighting mechs for the front line. He did get the EMP bomb on me. So my army's taking a little bit of damage. Uh, but he's running out of steam here, too. So let's get up to this base. 
and avoid shy halut if possible, and then deploy the repair field. Should have done that sooner. I'm trying not to get trying not to get hurt eaten by worms. But the repairs have gone down, and um, fight engineer, yes, and railgun drones, all of that. The Atreides haven't attacked anywhere yet. Pretty sure we win this fight. The passive healing, I think, edges it out for us. Yeah, it looks like it does. Alright. That bombardment hurts. What is he? What is, oh, it's just, it's just from this big mothership here. Okay, does she... Can you have a cooldown on this? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. So I don't have any anti-air at the moment, which is a little bit tough. Um, nukes are coming in as well, so I'm going to start getting nuked here in a minute. And the passive healing is doing okay. I need definitely a little bit more anti-air. Do I have anything that can shoot the Kronos? Yeah, unfortunately not. No. All right, so rally point. Uh, let's get the rally point set. I think I had the rally point in the wrong area. So they can just fly up here. And rally point. Where is that? I'm so getting used to all these new buttons and stuff. All right, let's get the railgun drones. And uh, unfortunately, he does kill quite a bit of my guys. My character and my relay are fighting, fighting the good fight. He doesn't kill my buildings, though, which is good. So if Atreides attacked now, I'd be in a little bit of trouble, for sure. Uh, let's get the militia back. All right, Atreides are near my main base. Oh, that's not good. Okay, so let's get the rally point here. He's taking a base nearby. So, oh, he flew the Kraken in. All right, very cool. So I just need to hold out at my main base, really, and then we should be fine. All my fighting mechs are kind of down. All right, so the troops have arrived. We've dealt with one incursion. Now we just need to deal with this one. Make sure homie doesn't get an airfield. Uh, so we obstruct loss of rights. And, um, ooh, Judge of the Council would be a good one for me to get if I could. He does have me beat on votes, but the two assassins also wouldn't be bad. All right. Here we go, baby. And let's get some more fighting mechs. Do I have the money for it? I do. We need a front line. We need the tanks. And uh, we can get a subway soldier, too. So 831 versus 936. If I get the Landsrad judges, I can just spam them out of my base, which would be really nice using influence and stuff. But also winning the assassins wouldn't be terrible. I'm just going to go for broke and see if I can get lucky on this with minor houses. Oh no, why did, oh, why does it not let me undo that? Is there any way I can cancel that? I accidentally put it on freaking him. Oh, that's so troll. Okay, there we go. Uh, oh, I can't vote either of those guys. Oh, oh, that's what it is. Okay. Now oh, whatever. It's fine. It's a misclick. Not going to matter. He's going to try and nuke me here. Oh, God, oh, God. Do you need to teleport? Uh, Where are the drones? I think we partially get out of the blast radius. Okay. Ooh. That was close, buddy. <laughs> we did dodge it. That was close, though. I almost didn't. Let's do this and get a missile turret here, too. All right. Here it comes. So we're going to try and fight them off at our base. We have a lot of reinforcements. The railguns have a good position. And here he comes. Oh, boy. It ain't going to be easy. Go fighting mechs. Go. None of these buffs really do anything for us. Um, we're going to do administrative burden on the Atreides, wherever the hell their main base is. So they can't, like, get reinforcements over here as quickly. Uh, he's got his hero here. I do have mine. I should have been doing more with it. All right. So let's get the drones and fighting mechs out. And hopefully we can hold here, man. It ain't going to be easy. I'm being bombarded. That that missile strike might have gotten buffed. I don't know. It seems very good. Okay. We're about to kill Gurney. Here's Gurney Halleck. Oh, gain one armor and experience for each level. Okay. So if we can take your boy Gurney down, that's going to be good. Okay, Gurney's down. We're being sieged pretty heavily, though. No, no, no. Wrong town. That's a, that is not a friendly village. Alright, so Rally Point can be, like, right behind the base. Let's let her heal. Uh, main base is looking okay. Do we have any actions we can do? EMP bombs. Oh, we can do the one where they lose control of their mechanical units. That's right. That's got to be pretty good. Alright, so here she comes. And let's get the railgun drones. Oh, come on, hold! Four days! Oh! <laughs> atomics, baby! I know, the Atomics are pretty nasty. Resonance drone's coming out. Gurney's down for the count. And um, I got 21k. Man, if I had some chum. Let's do the repair workshop here. So despite all that, he manages to get some reinforcements over, which is not good. 
Dude, the EMP bomb's not stopped too, or so troll. Okay, we got repairs coming. Let's gather up our troops in the back of the base. Try and salvage what we can. He's even got assassins coming in. Yeah, I'm, the EMP bombs are wrecking me pretty good. Okay, got another wave of reinforcements. Oh god, they're coming! Okay, I think they're both in this same region, so I can probably nail them with the mechanical, the hidden back door. Let's see if we can. Okay. Come on, fight him off. Okay, so he should lose control of his mothership. Maybe it'll start shooting random shit. Oh god, I'm so laggy, I can't even select my army. Uh, <laughs> I can't even drag my mouse cursor, it's so laggy. Uh, okay. Hold lady. Run! Come on! <laughs> a good place for the plan. EMP bomb of my own! Scavenger teams! Ready, my lord. Hey, our army's fighting pretty valiantly here. These these mighty drone people are uh, are doing it. Oh! Oh god! Come on, baby! Yeah, we got it! The, the political uh, Vernius wasn't bad. They were definitely felt better than the one we tried last game. Because expanding with Vernius is awkward, because a lot of your territories suck because you don't have the nodes. But that works. That worked decently. It's a PowerPoint presentation. That's a heavy cursor. It sure was. Yeah, GG, well played, man. Um, you know, we just got pretty much elected to all the offices, and uh, that was that. Wasn't too much strategy to it. Let's see how the economy looked that game. Yeah, I was never that good. There's a lot to explore with this faction, man. Um, by the way, well, before we before we call it a night, I want to show you guys something. If you're enjoying Dune, make sure to drop a like on the way out. It helps quite a bit. Elephant Lord. Oh, no worries, man. You're okay, dude. Don't stress it. It's not your fault. So all the factions got new counselors. Check it out. So let's look at the Baron Chonk first. So Robin and um, Nefud are now heroes. And your new counselors, you have um, Kron. Kron. So he's basically the exact same as, um, not the exact same, a little bit different. So he actually makes it so your oppressed villages also build buildings faster. So that's really cool. And obviously you get the rebel thing. Then you have Uman. Um, he makes it so units in a region with an active Harkonnen oppression gain armor. So, and units take 30% less time to recruit. So this is actually really good. So if you're like defending a region that's being oppressed, your units get a little bit of armor. And then Fade is the same as he was before. You get the influence and uh, those goodies and land thread corruption. And Peter is the same as he was before, too. Smugglers, you get um, Leishon. So gains information in other factions by trading intel with them. So you can trade intel with other factions and produces influence per information level in any field. So if you have, like, you know, three, three uh, level influences spying on somebody, you're going to get 1.5 um, influence, which isn't bad. And uh, Stakhanov. So villages without any smuggler regions in their neighbors, villagers with villages without any smuggler regions in their neighboring regions gain sieges take longer, and um, resource production. Okay, but you get to refund fifty percent of authority capture costs when a village is lost in that way. Oh, anyway, okay, interesting, pretty fun, and obviously each faction has two heroes. The Fremen are buggy right now. Apparently, they're really broken. Um, they got buffed super hard. So you have Shamoom. Shamoom. Each village producing at least 12 water gives you minus 3% salary upkeep globally. So if you have a lot of water intensive villages, you could easily get 15% reduction across your entire faction. Uh, and then you have Jamis. So gain 50 authority upon liberating. This is actually really good. Because remember how Fremen used to have freedom fighters where they would liberate a village and get 500? Now when you liberate a village, you also are going to get 50 authority. So expansionist Fremen just became way stronger too. And military units outside of Fremen territory get 10% damage. He seems pretty busted, honestly. That seems really good. Also, um, Stilgar got buffed too. Um, reveal all sieges at the start of the game. So no longer as the Fremen do you need to worry about finding sieges. Um, they're all revealed to you at the beginning. That's so incredibly good. And Mother Amalo can use Incite Rebellion on Lanzarad. So she basically got Shani's old stuff. And um, for every Harvester team you deploy, you get three intel. Okay. I think it's it gives you passive three intels, what I'm guessing. Uh, for the Sardaukar, you have Princess Irulan. So in every village, a single building. Yeah, it's the double one. Here's the new guy. You have Zoom Garong. Military units have 15% power per faction and truce and proposing an imperial mandate. Okay, so it's the same as the other guy, but just a new character. 
And then you have Gaius, Helen, and Mohame. Every Carino vote placed on a resolution affected by an imperial edict is doubled. And suppose, yeah, so it's basically what the old counselor used to do. So, um, yeah. Uh, Ekaz now has uh, this jolly dude. Military units at max level have no upkeep. That's kind of cool. So if you have like a, a, a doom stack of elite knights, they're completely free. So you could potentially have a really good standing military with this character and and just not attack. You're just you're just using it as a deterrent, but you're making a ton of money in the process. So that seems pretty good. And this uh, this guy has the yeah, he has the old character stuff where you get Landsrad for masterpieces and can become um This guy seems cool though. Reavy? Yeah, I, I definitely would give him a try. Um and for the Atreides, you have young Paul. So Paul's whole thing is about um, the Fremen, being homies with the Fremen. So Paul, if you want to play Hegemony Atreides, is going to be good. Produces two authority per allied siege, and allying a siege reveals another siege. So as you, and you also start with one, I think, or when the first siege is revealed, its relations are at 30. So Paul is like a chain reaction of getting the sieges to get on your side, which is good. You also have Dr. Yue. Um, that's pretty good, actually. Yue immediately gives you two knowledge out of the gates. No other conditions. You just get two knowledge and non-mechanical military units are stronger. So I don't know if he's worth it compared to Jessica. For me, honestly, I would probably, um, I'd probably, yeah, if I want to play for hedge and expansionism, I think Paul is an auto take. And if you're playing politics, Jessica's just too good not to take. Um, so probably like these two would be the ideal ones. Thufir does the same thing he did before. He just gives you agents. Yeah, that's yeah, pretty fun, man. There's so much meta to explore with this. It's going to be really fun, guys. And yeah, you guys saw Vernius, obviously. Vernius is, um, he lets you multi-build in your main base. Um, this character lets you expand easier, so expanding near your bases is 20% cheaper and you get a free airfield. This is the guy I used, so I was able to get a ton of influence very quickly. And when people attacked me, when I instantly got a ton of influence, right? So that was kind of cool. Um, and yeah, she lets information levels required for spying missions are lower by one. So theoretically, you could like assassinate quicker with her. And then you could also not do any development, which would turn... Okay, so if you stop researching, while no development is in progress, 100% of your knowledge is turned into intel. So if you want to go for hard for an assassin, you can stop it. In late game, you're going to be getting like 50, in, 50 intel nonstop, right? Which is really good. Um, yeah, that's fun. I think there's a lot to explore with this. That first game was some tough love, though. All right, guys, if you enjoyed Dune, drop a like on the way out. I'm going to be hosting a tournament um, probably next weekend uh, because they need to do a hot fix. There's a, there's a couple of bugs where you can just abuse things really badly. So hopefully they'll take care of that this week, and then we'll host a tournament. Um, I'll be back to uploading replays of this consistently, uh, as I was before. You'll probably be seeing two or three Dune games a week. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. See you next time. Drop a like if you want more Dune. Shai Hulu, bless his ravaged body. And uh, GG to all the players today. It was a lot of fun. See you guys around. And uh, yeah, that's it, man. Cheers.